Islam, Islam, Islam. Let us rise and give praise to our Father God Allah, honest to our Holy Prophet, Noble Jawali, honest to everything that is more, our grand national flag, emblem and seal, our divine constitution and bylaws of Moorish America. I am Dr. Torea Nur Rasul Simpson Bay, National Sister Grand Chairman of Moorish America, <clears throat> also Council General in the God Allah Georgia Territory. Uh, we just want to welcome everyone to another Egyptian Adeptus Research Sultanate class uh, sponsored by our Moorish American government and our host instructor is Dr. Shadu Amenti Muhajja Shepshuel, our National Sister Grand Sheikh of Moorish America. Islam, Islam, Islam. Peace and love. We'll be starting shortly. Islam front bro, Islamism. Islam, gratitude. <laughs> Islam. Praise Allah. Praise Allah, Islam. It's not Grand National Secretary of State. My Grand National Chairman close by. Where that grand man at? It's on. It's on. I said, where, where's the Grand National Chairman at? Where that grand man at? He close by. He's, he's not available right now more. It's not. Hey, it's, it's not. I was like, he close by. I said, it's not. Peace and love. I'll praise Allah. I'll definitely give him the message. Islam. Gratitude. Gratitude.
Islam, Islam, Islam. Uh, Dr. Melvin, that was base with Andrew number four. Islam, grand man. Uh, Islam, God, man. This is, yeah. Gratitude, peace and love. Peace so and you love. and all the Moors online. Islam, uh, would you like to uh, uh, lead in prayer? Open up in prayer? Uh, yes, sir. Islam, all right. Well, yeah, you, um, you can open up with the uh, uh, Egyptian Adeptus, uh, Egyptian Moors Adeptus uh, prayer, and uh, I'll follow up the way with the Divine Constitution and the chapter of the week, Islam. Oh, grat gratitude. Uh, you want me to begin now? Oh, right well, now. Yes, indeed, Islam. Islam, Islam. Islam, oh. Islam. Islam, Moors. Ya Allah, anu haru meku neturu. Ya Allah, abheru. Ya Allah, ma'ahru. Ya Allah, hutepru. Ya Allah, haru. Ya Allah, ma'at herkuti. Ya Allah, awajet de juti. Ya Allah, pertem sutek, pertem haru. Ya Allah, bemaduti. El hedges, ray up to Ali. Amen. Alias, alias, alias. In transliteration, Morris, O oh Allah, the Father of the universe, O oh Allah, the Father of love, O oh Allah, the Spirit of truth, O oh Allah, the Spirit of peace, O oh Allah, the Spirit of freedom, O oh Allah, the Spirit of justice, O oh Allah, you are my protector, O oh Allah, you are my guide, O oh Allah, you are my salvation by night and by day through your holy prophet, through Ali. Amen. Holy Issa, Holy Issa, Holy Issa, Islam. Islam, Islam, Islam. In gratitude, Dr. Marvin Edwards Bay for opening up the way with our Egyptian Adeptus uh, prayer, Egyptian Moorish Adeptus prayer. And uh, now we come before with our divine constitution of Moorish America. Salvation, our God unity. The divine constitution of Moorish America. Act one, the Grand Sheik and the Chairman of Moorish America are empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the Prophet and the Grand Body of Moorish America. The Assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And it is known before the citizens of Moorish America. The Bylaws, Act two, all meetings are to be open and closed promptly according to the Circle Seven and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice Friday is our holy day of rest because on a Friday, the first man was formed in flesh and on a Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended into his father, God Allah. For that cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all citizens of Moorish America. No citizen is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because Allah is love. Act four, all citizens must preserve these holy and divine laws and all citizens must obey the laws of the government because by being a Moorish American, you are a part and a parcel and parcel of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act five, no organization of Moorish America is to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act six, for thus, all citizens must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed, that they may know that they are a part and a parcel of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders and lasted in, and by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Jew Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act seven, all citizens must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a partial of all the lifting acts of Moorish America. Moorish Americans must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of Moorish America. And then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children. 
and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Juali, through the guidance of his father, God Allah. Prophet Noble Juali, peace and blessings be upon him, founding father and framer of the divine constitution and bylaws of Moorish America. And now that this meeting has been opened, according to Act Two, in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, we say Islam, Islam, Islamism. And now I will be reading chapter 17, the chapter of the week. Life and works of Yehoshua in Egypt, among the Gentiles, Yehoshua with Elihu and Salom in Egypt, tells, tells the story of his journeys. Elihu and Salom praise Allah. Yehoshua goes to the temple in Heliopolis and is received as a pupil. And Yehoshua came to Egypt land and all was well. He tarried not upon the coast. He went at once to Zoan, home of Elihu and Salom, who five and 20 years before had taught his mother in their sacred school. And there was a joy when met these three. When last the son of Mary saw these sacred grove, he was, he was obeyed. And now a man grown strong by buffeting of every kind, a teacher who had stirred the multitudes in many lands. And Yehoshua told the age teachers all about his life, about his journeys in foreign lands, about the meetings with the masters and his kind receptions by the multitudes. Elihu and Salome heard his story with delight. They lifted up their eyes to heaven and said, our father God Allah, let now thy servants go in peace, for we have seen the glory of Allah, and we have walked and we have talked with him, the messengers of love and of the covenant of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Through him shall all nations, subhanAllah, through him shall all the nations of the earth be blessed through him, Emmanuel. And Yehoshua stayed in Zoan many days, and then went forth into the city of the sun that men called Heliopolis and sought admission to the temple of the sacred brotherhood. The council of the brotherhood convened and Yehoshua stood before the hero friend. He answered all questions that were asked with clearness and with power. The hero friend exclaimed, Rabboni of the Rabbinate, why come you here? Your wisdom is the wisdom of the gods. Why seek for wisdom in the halls of men? And Yehoshua said, in every way of life, I would walk. In every hall of learning, I would sit. The heights that any man has gained, these I would gain. What any man has suffered, I would meet, that I may know the griefs, the disappointments, and the sore temptations of my brother man, that I may know just how to succor those in need. I pray you brothers, let me go into your dismal crypts, and I would pass the hardest of your tests. The master said, take then the vow of, the, of secret brotherhood. And Yehoshua took the vow of secret brotherhood. Again, the master spoke. He said, the highest heights are gained by those who reach the greatest depths. And you shall reach the greatest depths. The guide then led the way and in the fountain Yehoshua bathed. And when he had been clothed in proper garb, he stood again before the hero fan. Islam, Islam, Islam. Well, at this time, um, we want to hand over the, uh, the class, the research class to our National Assistant Grand Sheikh of Moorish America, Dr. Shadu Amenti Muhajir Shabshuel. Islam, Islam, Islam. Are you there, Grand Man? Islam, can you hear me? Yes, sir, loud and clear. Gratitude. All right. Well, let us rise upon the seven and give all praises to the great God, Allah, Father God, Allah, and honors to his holy prophet, honor to our holy prophet, noble Drew Ali, El Haj Sharif Abdul Ali, that is. We give honors to our Moorish kin once again here, there, and everywhere, and therefore honors to all of you who are continuously honoring yourselves by being yourselves. 
We give honors to our Grand National Seal. We give honors to our Grand National Emblem, National Flag, Divine Constitution and Bylaws, and honors to all of you who are indeed a living manifestation and personification of everything. And I do mean everything that our Holy Prophet brought to make us a nation. I wanna welcome our Moorish 10 once again to another uh, Egyptian Adeptus Research Sultanate. I'm your host instructor, Dr. Shahidi Mani Amohadi Shabazel. And my ancient committee and high name being the same as Dr. Shedawa Mintiel Mohajit Shepsuel. And we welcome our Moors Ken uh, once again for a grand unfoldment into the higher self. So praise be to Allah. You know, we want to give honors to all of the Moors who are here in participation and everyone who has brought their measures of understanding throughout. Uh, the various, we'll say, grand classes that we have had, you know, because we have progress along the way, praise be to Allah. And uh, this will allow people who will bear witness to the works that we're demonstrating right now, the ability to progress as well when it comes to understanding our culture, you know, not through the eyes of someone else, but through our own eyes. So we just say gratitude, Moors, peace and love, and uh we can get to it now. <laughs> In fact, we know our Moorish kid got some grand drawings on the manifest because, see, they be saying, man, you know, it's a whole lot that need to be there anymore. Get up in here and they just go to uh, putting it out here and say, ain't no way in the world these more. They never came across this information right here, not the way they be bringing it. <laughs> so praise be to Allah. Uh, for giving us the ability to unfold at a rapid pace, you know, because again, we are doing something, are embarking upon a particular journey that hadn't been taken yet. And uh, we got some grand measures and I know with the resources that we put out there to our Moorish kin most recently, they have more than enough to aid in the system along the way. So what we gonna do, we gonna open up the flow so we can get some of these grand lessons and blessings you know, where I become the student, you know, in the presence of these teachers right here, you know, so uh, I know our Moors got the homework on the manifest, so all I can say is, uh, where you at? <laughs> who, who, who coming for first? You give us a grand lesson, Islam. All right, Grand National Secretary. My Grand National Secretary of the state is a real soldier. She'll run out there with that scimitar consciousness in defense of her nation ASAP. Islam, Grand National Secretary of the state. Islam, Islam, Islam. First of all, I want to rise, giving all praises to our Father God Allah, and giving honor to our Prophet Noble Durali, the last prophet in these days and times giving honor to our Moorish American government, all of our officials, staff, uh, giving honor to our Georgia consulate for providing the forum to our Consul General of Texas, Dr. Edwards Bay, for opening our meeting according to law, to our National Assistant Grand Chairman, uh, Dr. Simpson Bay, for our Divine Constitution and Bylaws, and also our subject chapter for the week. Giving honor to Act One and to our host instructor, our National Assistant Grand Sheik of Moorish America, Dr. Shedwa Menti Elmo Hedges Shepsuel. I'm going to uh, share my screen. And Moorish Ken, um, what I did is, since I didn't want to um, print 100 so pages, I always go back to the handwriting, you know, and that is like a dual function because it not only keeps the repetition up, you know, I have to kind of like check myself on a couple of things because in looking at that A, um, where it looks like two backward C's, I hadn't realized that until I started writing this. And then I was, you know, going down the pages so frequently, I had to scratch out on a couple of portions because I was making it a three. You know, like, wait a minute, that's not right. You know, so it was a grand measure now. <clears throat> I want to give you much honor, Dr. Shahi, because I tell you, this wealth of information, and I was trying to pull out um, ethereally uh, what 
impacted me as far as going over these lessons. And it is a, um, a daily process, you know, because uh, and making it applicable to the self. Now, when I went on that one uh, AY, this one right here, um, let me just make it a little bigger. When I looked up AY, the definition that I received uh, were several. And, of course, knowing that Greek and Latin, you know, are nothing but remixes of us, you know, that's just automatically out the window. So um, Greek for the AY was A-I-O-N, Ion, which we, and uh, that's an age or eternity. You know, we use um, that in measurements when it comes down to time. The Latin, uh, A-E-V-U-M, which is in essence referencing a space of time. And um, they also, you know how in voting, and you hear those that are for the affirmative say I, so it brought that measure out to a cent, and uh, it also, in reference to time, dealt with always and ever. And then uh, OYU, uh, coming from the Indian aspect, was dealing with life everlasting, and the AIW, vital force, long life. And this also gives root to the word Ayurvedic, which is coming out of the Indian uh, school of thought, dealing with knowledge of the vital force or chi. So that was just one aspect that, you know, drove me to let me go research that word as far as the etymology was concerned and see what comes forth. So that was that was a blessing. And I didn't do that on all the words. I just pulled out certain ones that um, caught my eye. Now, when it came down to, let me hit the next page, this aspect right here when it came down to the A-Y-G-S. Originally, ethereally, that looked like the formation of Egypt, you know, and uh, how they spelled it. But when I looked at it from uh, the information, they had a sentence of first-class vices cloth. So in essence, that's a type of clothing. And um, that was coming from uh, page three of our lesson. The third page... I did go to the Gospel of Thomas, and I went through every line. I was able to pick out what looked like uh, uh, an apostrophe for the letter A, but I also saw in the lesson that this could be considered a determinative as well. You know, so I also saw in the uh, Gospel of Thomas the two which was on line five, the one that was determinative that also looked like A was line three. Um, and then the third line from the bottom um, looks like E, well, A. Then um, the last portion, the last portion dealing with the lessons one through 12. I looked at a couple of sentences and trying to see the similarities where the um, the RMT is man, M-A-N. And um, let me get over here and um, page was that? Seven and page thirteen. on page 13, where you notice the similarities of, let me just blow it up a little bit, RMT, a man, RMT, a man. Then it has, I was comparing a man is dead on example two and example five, the man is dead, trying to find the similarities in these two sentences. So we see that the uh, RMT is dealing with man, and that T has the line under it. The MWT is synonymous with dead. And then to me, I was like, this P with the A. That to me would be more comparable to A man is dead as opposed to the uh, WN. But, you know, that was just me thinking and trying to, you know, find the similarities in the words. And... Um, 
The other thing that I wanted to note, and this is found on, let's see, example 25, page 21. Hold on one second more. I'm too far. Okay. Uh, when it has down man, where is that? The RMT, which was what that previous sentence was, so that tied in. And then when I looked at um, men, now if you notice, the man has the almost what looks like a little two with the stick. But when you go down to men, where is that? Oh, when you go down to men, it has the additional dot W. And then if you notice in the symbol it has an additional stick. Okay, so that would make sense. Were you talking about something plural? And uh, so um, I just, you know, that's what I was working on in reference to my assignment, but it was so many things that were clicking as far as, because you all, always stated, Dr. Shahid, in reference to go back to the etymology, go back to the land, the people, et cetera, and all of these things, and history, and all of these things tying together you know, which brings forth the demonstration that the alphabet came first, you know, as opposed to the glyphs and what European wants to put their terminology on. So this was just a grand class for me. I'm still going through the, um, the dictionary when it comes down to the A's because that was a grand measure and a big help. And also reading up on the lessons so that I could get how the sentence structure is, you know, dealing with the verbs, the pronouns, and things of that nature. So I was doing that reading as well. But that's my measure and gratitude. Peace and love. Gratitude and peace and love, Grand National Secretary of the State. Powerful. And what you did, especially when you went into that letter and you were dealing with AY and how you sh showed across the time uh, measures dealing with the different languages. See, that's how we're going to build up our actual dictionary so that we will be able to see the cognitive words in different languages, you know, and then you bring them right in there. You brought it right back to ION. Etymology is powerful when you go on that journey and it's actually interesting, you know, when you begin to study the root word. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a powerful demonstration, Grand National Secretary of the State. Um, I just wanted to say praise be to Allah, you know, for everything it is that you have demonstrated uh, thus far. And what I want to do in support of what you just put, put out there, you know, so our family can get a drawing uh, before we even go any further, I want to share my screen here first. Let me go here and share my screen. All right. Okay. Okay, the screen is shared here. All right. And um, I actually go here. Can you see the picture right there, Morris King? Okay. Um yeah, I just wanted to show you too, Grand National Secretary of the State, in regards to dealing with the man uh, that you just pointed out. You see, even in the term when we was giving up the definition of Asia a while back, you know, and you go into the essence of Asiatics, and these are words that they use in connection with that word Asiatic. And you see witnesses, you know, then you see, uh, again, remit, you see? Oh, they use the term Ren sometimes, but people is also another terminology for the word. So man and people is synonymous, just like we always say there's no gender in regards to the way we demonstrate man. We can see comedically it was the same principle. The same word that was used for people in general was used for man. Now, if we go into the uh, uh, the 
dictionary of the Holy Quran, we see it's the same principle with Adam. Adam was referred to as man, but he also was referred to as humanity. You see, and most of the time, a nation is always represented, you know, as uh, through one individual, and then the people are rec recognized under that same name. Just like when you go into the Piscean records, you know, they use the term uh, Moab, and then there was a nation of Moab, you see? That entails uh, going beyond the gender. You had um, Israel, and you had uh, the nation of Israel, so to speak. And so it, it goes like that normally. You know, when you have uh, people, they are often preceded in root by name, and so it is when it comes to dealing with the Moorish American Muslims. You see, uh, they too, when you go into the root and trace it back, it'll go all the way back to Kemet. We know this. But then we know this name represent all of us as a whole and as a people, you know. So uh, I, I just felt that was noteworthy in what you had brought out, Goddess and Queen, with that word RMT, you know. And um, also, a lot of time when they put the W there, sometimes they try to use that as what they would call a, a, what you call a, a feminine principle in the word, you know, to let it be known, okay, if there's a man, you know, and it, uh, and then you have women, like it said, netter and netteru. They do it like that sometimes, you see? That's how you can tell where a name should be given, you know, to a male or female, for example. You know, like we say, uh, let's say neferu, as opposed to nefer, you see? So those are things that go into the language itself as well. But um, also, Dealing with that letter A, and I want to um, show this as well. This is very powerful that you did, and I see you wrote it out basically the same way I did. And I actually went through all of them um, and went through each one because it, the more you go through it, it impresses, like I say, the uh, symbol in your memory. Okay, this is the letter A. You know, and when you go through the next letter and you do the same thing, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to impress it in your memory. I'm gonna give you a prime example, even though they don't have a lot of the vowels here, how we can go through these things. For example, we see here, A, W, A, and then they have a T here, right? And this is, you know, we could say, uh, all eight, all eight, you see, all eight, you know, without vowels, you know, this is the way we would pronounce it or whatever the case may be. You have all we, all we, are we, are we, right? Most of these things in definition, if you're looking at them, they look the same as far as the word is concerned, but they change based upon, you know, when you add that T or you take away or you add that extra A. So we know there are different words, though they are related in root to a certain degree, right? And then we find the word praised, you know, and we talked about this before, you know, praised to be in all you know, and uh, all elevated and so forth and so on, uh, to be elated in thought. We can see that that word praise, it follows on into its root, but then there are words that connect with this word as well, just knowing this. Now, the thing as well that we can do is those things that we are able to see. Let me move this out of the way here. Should be, able, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot better right there. Put us up there. Um, I, what we could also do is just look at the various different expressions when we look at these words, because they will also give us different forms and variations of how these things look in the actual demotic script. You know, like we know the A in the way that it look, and we can go through the other letters and identify them, because the more we identify different words, we're going to be able to identify the alphabets and so forth and so on. I want to get down to an area uh, that I know that we all have some familiarity with too as well. And I'll show you what Dr. Uh, uh, Islam. Islam, I had a uh, quick question before you get to that portion. When you yes, were speaking about man and showed the two maps, you said um, Asiatic witness. And what was the R word? Was it R-E-N that you were also synonymous with man? 
Well, yeah, people. one 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 word they also use is R E E N as well okay. as well as R E M T. You know, I've seen that. You know, and um, that would probably mostly be in the uh, heretic. You know, but um, I see the R E M T is used here, but that's also a measure where we can actually put these things in the dictionary form and bring them into a collective as well. And um. I'm gonna give you something. I was exposing this to our brother a few days ago. This is the name that they try to use um, when it comes to dealing with Alexander the Great, right? These are some of the words that they use here, right? And these words you're gonna see ain't got nothing to do with no, ain't got nothing to do with Alexander. Actually, I just passed by one of them. And then they'll bring Ptolemy in here as well. And see, they see, look right here, they where they use the word again. Right here, dealing with the word uh, RMT, right? And then they added AWT. Remit out, a man of, you see? So we can see this word here, remit out, you see, man of, and then they basically goes into the aspect of hell, so to speak, helling, you know, and bringing one forth. Uh, in other words, status, one of status, you see? And then when you come here, you see that they go further into breaking the root down in this word in the front here, A-W-T-A-Q-R-A-T-A-R, -A 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 and they call it autocrator, which is a raw title. You see, this is a raw title, they say, right? So if you see this word and it got various forms at the end, it change up a little bit. You see an R here on the end, you see an R and an S, but it's still the same thing, you know? Uh, these things we can take note of. Now, down here in the end, you also see where it gives the equivalent of this particular title, the autocrator, which is actually a uh, autocrator, or uh, what they call imperator, imperator, you see? So all of these things are referring to the status or a title that one is holding. I'm gonna show you something else here. Let me scroll up a little bit. And it be it become easy because we want to get to the point where we can just look at that and say, well, Abby. You see, uh, if we were to look at this here that's spelled out a little bit here, let me blow that up. Now they say this means to thirst, thirst, right? Uh, let's say sepheka abi, sepheka abi, to experience hunger and thirst. How am I pronouncing this? Because I'm using an E, I'm putting the E here, you know, in order to get it out of here. Sep Heka, that's the A at the end right there, Abbey. Sep Heka Abbey, to experience hunger and thirst, right? Now, let me go further. And you can see they got a lot of different variants in here. Now, what we're gonna do when we put our stuff together, we're gonna take these definitions and remove. Uh, you know, a lot of the, the confusion that they have in here with this other stuff, we're going to get the definitions alone. You know, we can use these as going into the reference, you know, just to refer back to these if we want to go and find exactly where these words come from, nothing to be wrong with that. But for those who are laymen, when we establish a dictionary, we'll just have a definition there so that they will see that and they won't be bombarded with all this type of stuff here. Because that's just really so they just citing where they got this information from, which is nothing wrong with that. Certain aspects on basic things will leave there, but not so much to what people get took off and be like, what is this that I'm looking at? You know what I mean? Okay. I want to show you something else here. Um, I'm trying to get to the full sentences they use and also words that some of our people may already be familiar with. And this is just dealing with the letter A. The more we use it, you know, uh, and go into it and try to pronounce these things, you know, all is well. We're coming to a clear conception. 
Okay, let me see here. Character. Not me. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, I think we we what I want to get at into a certain area here. And um, also, I want to bring to the attention of our people as well. A lot of these words, if you go into a lot of the dictionaries, uh, like the dictionary of um, Gardenia and Budge and so forth and so on, you'll find that they make reference to some of these words when they speak of a demotic you know, and tell you what well, this is a demotic word, so to speak. And so it's good to be able to look at that and see that the dermatologist who actually translated the book, you know, what they was drawing from as well. Okay, let's see here. Here, here, here's a here's one right here. I know you more remember me speaking of Alsa and giving roots to the word wasir. Remember me speaking of that? Right here, for example, they use the term wasir iron, wasir iron, right? And this particular measure here, it means, well, they go into an actual breakdown. Wasir iron pie, eri, minha, minha in wasir. Wasir iron pie, eri, minha in wasir. Iron, meaning the excellent companion of Osiris. You see, how do we come forward with this? You know, we basically put uh, an E in between here, and then we come up with men, men, you see? And we say, wasir iron pa eri menha in wasir. And that's basically when Europeans put certain vowels in there, they don't know really what it is you know, that's actually being, they just putting it in there to give a sound to it. And so I'm basically doing it off the head, you know? So it, again, this statement, again, wasir iron pa iri minha in wasir, means the excellent companion of Osiris. Where is Osiris found here? In the word wasir, right here, you see? Islam? Islam, brother uh, Marvin Edwards Bay. Oh, uh, Islam God, man of gratitude. Uh, can, can I interject just for one moment? You know, why are you right here? Uh, yeah, Islam. Okay, yeah, I'm, because I'm looking at this wasir, right? Um, and I know that that uh, letter in between the S and the R is actually like an A in the uh, Quranic dictionary. Um, and I, I would say uh, A could go right here. That could be your sock. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it is. Like I said, it's really not a, a real big difference. You can put a U there if you want to, whatever the case may be. You know, that's really not an issue of contention. You know, it's really a choice, but you know, normally the E is supposed to be, I guess you can call it more neutral, whatever the case may be. And so that's why a lot of time you'll see them put the E there. But yeah, you can put Wasur, you can put U there if you want to. I mean, it's for the sake of it being there, what I try to do is push it out with the alphabet that's there. It was Wasir. That's why Wasir, I try to push the A out with the E when I say Dr. Wasir. Hey, hey family. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, also, too, uh, mm -hmm. also, too, uh, as you were speaking, I know that when it comes to Demotic, and uh, then we have the Coptic that comes after, you know, Demotic precedes the Coptic. Um, I was looking at the handout that you brought out to Dr. Shahid, mm -hmm. and it's, it's amazing to see that. We see Rasir here, and it says, you know, Osiris. And when you look at the Coptic alphabet, the actual um, W is actually can be interchanged with an O. When you look at the alphabet, uh, Copt, O Egyptian, you have the W, but then it has, <clears throat> it has for the alphabet to be O. So I think that's that's, that's right. That's how they come mm -hmm. up with it, because this right here be, would be considered according to people who thought it to be. So they call yeah. this. They really called it uh, Greek, but we know it's really Coptic. So that's why when you look in the Coptic, yeah, if you put the O there, that's where they get the Osiris concept from, but really it's also. You see what I'm saying? When you go and look in most texts, it's also. And um, Wasir 
is another way that they have it there too. That's another name that's used beside also. This is the name that became Wazar or Wazira. You see Wazir, uh, when you look at the rulers that's mentioned, and I actually gave a breakdown on this right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show it to you since, cause I think I got the page over right here. Uh, let's see, I think I got that page over right up here. Cause I had to open it up to, well, you know what? Better yet, what we'll do is uh, do it this way. Pull this down. I want to make sure our family get it. Okay. Let me scroll over here. Photo. And then we'll go right down here. Right. Yeah, um, we had did a breakdown on this right here not long ago. <clears throat> and it's actually right. Let me see. Goodness gracious. Let me see here. All right. Well, yeah, well, yeah. There it go right there, you know. So we actually did a, a root trace on this when we were dealing with the etymology. And if you look right here, hold on. I'm trying to move this out y'all way. Okay, so if you look right here, family, you see also, and it goes into all the roots or whatever. I trace it all the way down here, you know, from also the derivative. Then you have USR. You see here how they place another one there. Then you have WZR. This is the Arabic root, Wazir. You see? Then also you have Vizir. So you can see all these changes, but it's still referring to the same thing a ruler or official you know, a advisor, political advisor, minister is what they use a lot of time when they say vizier or wazir. But the root deals with, like uh, like they use the term usera, usert, which means to assert. We can bring it into English, assert oneself. That's why these symbols, the uh, crook and the flail represent power and authority, which you see also with in his hands right here. You see? So, what a lot of people would like to look at and they'll look at these symbols and say, oh, well, this symbol mean also, you know, that's what the Europeans say the symbol represent. We deal with the alphabet and we know that alphabet is coming from Demotic and Coptic. You see what I'm saying? So we ain't focused on the symbols that they putting beside the word. Even in the light, when you see me pull things up with this dictionary, we ain't even paying attention to these symbols, you see? We are dealing with, uh, the, you know, these different portions here. You see, just the word itself. You know, all that other stuff is what the European added. You know, in their own way of trying to come forth. You know, with uh, so-called deciphering. You see what I'm saying? So that's a whole nother measure in and of itself. So let me go back here real quick. Okay, there we go. I want to show you another measure and transliteration before we get to our Moorish kin so they can have some plain aspects. And we're just trying to show you things we identify with already. And I'm gonna show you how, if we keep going forward, you can do the same thing. We can see even right here in the, the aspect of dealing with Arabia, you know, this word is pretty much similar to itself. See the A-R-B-Y-N, Arbian, you see the Y, Arbian, just as Arabian, the, you see? Look at the name Arby different now, huh? The yeah, <laughs> most definitely. You know, and then you have what they say, war in pata, war in pata, in el Ibi, el Ibi, which is the chief of the land of Arabia. You know, and so now we can sit here and really write and take our time and you know, put vowels where we feel like they should properly fit, but 
this is just coming straight off of the head and pronouncing a lot of these things and seeing what we're able to see. And the more we do this, we become proficient. The more we do this, the more uh, better we become with pronouncing these things and we will be able to see them then start jumping out the page on us, you know? Like this is a long one here, right, for example. Now, this one says, let's say ret, uh, ret per anet iwa sin rahet netter in het netter sebek. I know y'all heard the word sebek before. Item na RP wapa ta arson, which is the royal temple inspector who inspects the temple of Sebek and the temples of the district of Arsim. Now, when you look here and it speaks of uh, what we call Sebek, and you can see how they spell it. Notice how they place vowels in between it. They got the S, the O, and then they put the E here. Now they could have, uh, you'll see it spelled sometime S-E-B-E-K, Sebek. You see what I'm saying? Or you might see somebody spell it S-U, depending on what vowel they choose to put in there. So, you know, these are things uh, that, that, that we are able to tap into. And like I say, the more we see this, the more familiar we become, the more we are able to um, get grand drawings off of these things. Dr. Shaheen. So, yes, sir, Islam. Islam, uh, uh, Sister Akurta uh, uh, Bay. Before you leave that page, because uh, could you scroll back up? Well, uh, uh, go up a little bit more where you was, um, uh, go down. Uh, Cause it, it was some writing uh, uh, on the other, on the, on the far hand right side. Uh, when you was when you was trying when you was pronouncing that word, okay, right there, right there. I, I um, when I went on that page and I was studying, and uh, I know you didn't. Uh, uh, you told us to look up the A's, try to find all the A's, and that's what I did. But uh, when I got on this page, I kind of got stuck because I started seeing. And, and I didn't know if we supposed to be over here. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but uh, uh, where, where you see that A at, I was over there in that corner there. What, what is that supposed to be? Because it, it- This is just a transliteration of this word over here. Okay, yeah, so that, that's the same. And, and, and that's, what, that's yeah. what I thought, yeah, that's yeah, what- That's the that, transliteration. Of that word, yeah, and see, and yeah, when I was on that, there. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I was on that page, uh, if you go back up to page fourteen, uh, it, it was a, uh, uh, it was a, uh, um, uh, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, a page uh, fourteen. Uh, fourteen. Was, this is uh, forty-eight here. I need to go up a little further. Yeah, if you if you could go up to fourteen, because I got stuck on that. I got I was intrigued with that because I, I know you didn't tell us uh, uh, to to do to do that, but right uh, uh, right uh, it was one. Uh, I'm thinking that that's it. I was on page 14, and I and I had been trying to figure that uh, that exercise out in another lesson, and I didn't know what it was. And then I I, I found out that that's what it was. Um, that that is, and I might have been. Um, I say, uh, is this attachment the, the attachment to? With the Chicago Dictionary, I put fourteen. But anyway, uh, yeah. But I, I went over there and I saw the A. It had the A, and it it it, it had the word for uh, the whole exercise that I had been trying to work on. But I never could figure out what they was. So uh, 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 I kind of got got intrigued over there, and I didn't know if I supposed to have been studying studying that over there. But like you say, that's just how to that's the the word uh, written out over there uh, like that. that that's, that's the same thing, but that's the way it's written out in the, in the alphabet, right? Yeah, what you see right here on this side is right okay. now, but these are different people's writing, basically. Okay. Different ways that people wrote it, you know, and they mm -hmm. actually show you who it is that wrote certain things. Okay. If you look at it, different people writing different ways and different words. All these words ain't exactly the same. Some of them are different. Right. You know, but um, they had a transliteration 
right here and this is the actual script over here you okay know, so if you identify with these alphabets in the letter and you uh compare them you're gonna see that they transliterate right here that's what i was getting ready to show the moors you know when i was going down a few minutes but i was trying to show it with something that they are more familiar with oh yeah yeah and and, and i, I might have wrote down the wrong page but it was mm -hmm. one it was an exercise i was working on and i was and i reckon it just like jumped out at me i said that that thing i had been trying to figure out what it was and i was so excited <laughs> i got hung up over there but i i really uh uh, uh um I, I i was recognizing the different alphabets and stuff and i, I like i say i recognized the a and it had a t and it was uh, but it was one letter uh, uh, that was in there that uh, uh, I still didn't uh, recognize what it was. It looked like a cross at the bottom of it, at the at the bottom of the little line coming down. It looked like it had a dot up on it. It didn't say what that alphabet was in the translation. So, but anyway, gratitude. <laughs> I, I just had that. That's a quick question that I that, that I had. Islam. Oh yeah, Islam. Gratitude. And um. On that note, I wanted to show the Moors here too, for example. You know, when it's speaking here, it says, we can say, well, Abin Arsin, 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 which is basically the priest of Arsino. Now, notice here you see the word M and R, you know, which means to love and so forth and so on. And so they actually add that in down here. Well, Abbot in Arsen, uh, Ta Mir, Ats, Ta Mir, Ats. And this is priestess of Arsenal, the father of loving. You see? So we you know the word M and R was used there. The same word that a lot of people try to bring negative definitions out of, right? Now watch this. It's going to get more interesting in a second here. Just give me one second. I'm just trying to make, you know, small, small jumps, so to speak, to give our Moorish kin some insight into this, not going too complex. Let me see here. Okay. Let me move this out of our way again. That little thing right there, I usually have it. Let's see. There we go. We'll put it right there like that. There we go. I'm going to be covering up my little areas over here when I'm trying to go up here. There's another measure here I want to show the moors real quick. One second. And this is powerful. Like I say, you can take one word and, um, yeah, you can go back to your alphabet and if you want to deal with all these words here and, um, you know, go letter by letter. Look at the one that you can most you know, be able to see. And then once you begin to see the drawings with they looking like this here was well, kind of hard to identify, you'll know what they look like because they give them to you in various forms, basically. You know, they have many different expressions on being able to see these things. Give me one second here. Let me show you something. We're going to expose, you know, uh, something. You know, a lot of time they try to say that the name of Alexander the Greek you know, and all these ones and Ptolemy and all of them was found in the comedic language. Now, I want you to look at this real carefully. Because if you look at, let me blow this up. If you look at where it says, now we see para. We know para is a way, what, that's where they get the name Pharaoh from. It's P-R-A, you'll see it in the language that way, right? Para, it states, I guess we'll say Agistris. Address, uh, addressress, uh, argistress. I think that's the best way to say it. Saw argistress, right? But we don't see nowhere what his name, because we know the pharaoh is from para right here. P R and the A. That's where they're getting the pharaoh measure from. But this word is not in any relation to this name, Alexander. You see, they can say what they want to say, but ain't no way in the world. This word right here has anything to do with Alexander. Even if you were to take the R and change the R and change it to L, it's Algestrus. You see, Algestrus, not Alexander. 
you see, so where in the world are Europeans getting this from? But they can tell you anything when you don't know your own language. See what I'm saying? See how they try to pull the wool over your eyes and tell you something? And they talking about the sun. And see this word here? Sin is the word asa. Uh, sa is also a word they use for sun. You see, like sa. You see? Like uh, you even hear our brother's name, Sarnetta. You know, Sa is supposed to be son of the God, son of the Netta, right? So this Sa right here is supposed to be son. So Pharaoh, and they want to say this is Alexander, which we see, no, that is not the case. Son, you see, of Alexander here as well, you know, which they given two different statements that they're making. You know, at least this is the way the European would have you think. You know, that's why they put the comma there, you know. How they know this ain't a regular statement right here, you know, that has to do with what this is supposed to be stating, you know, but that's a whole nother measure. And if you go here, you can actually go through the letters and transliterate and uh, on your own time and you'll see certain measures. I want to show you this too. They use a similar name here and they try to also equate this with Alexandria. You see, and this is A G S. Algestro, right? Algestro, Algestro. It states Padnetta, Algestro Panetta Mir Moot. Algestro Panetta Mir Moot, right? What was the, the, the moot comes here? You know, with the W in most cases, they interchange it with the U, so we say moot, right? So where are they getting Ptolemy from? <laughs> I mean, this is crazy, Morris kid. Now we can see they transliterated the word love properly. Man, they must have really had that whip cracking back then on them dermatologists or the people that was translated. You know, some of them was actual native Chemites that was under the rule of the Ptolemies and they made them translate certain things. So that's why you will find these things surfacing like this here, you see? But ain't no way in the world you can see this word here in relation to Alexander. I don't care what they say. It, it, it just ain't happening. It just ain't happening. Here's another measure here. Uh, then they give a similar word, which it has an N interjected here. Agenstrus. I can even see the term. Let's just say Allah. Genetra, natures. Let's just say if we had the word nature there instead of, you know, where they try to compound and put everything together. This would actually be dealing with, I would say, one of the natural gods. And you see Pera here again. We should know this from now too. When we, anytime we see this, it's talking about a Pharaoh again, Pera. So they use the word ruler and substitute a Pharaoh in this time. Pera int. Hiwi, or Hiwi, you see, Hiwi, Net Hiwi, you see? So, man, this is this is crazy how they remix everything and put Ptolemy and Alexander in all these different writings. And Islam? Then Islam, brother. Oh, gratitude. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, that's my sister Grand Sheik. Yeah, yeah, what I wanted to just say that, um, you know, even though our, our ancestors was under stress uh, doing this, I, I think that uh, as we become more proficient in our understanding of this, uh, the writing and the alphabets, that we can, they embed it, you know what I mean? Certain things that the European couldn't, you know what I mean, comprehend. And they gave them some things that they had to repeat to, to become, that looks real, you know what I mean? That looks original, you know what I mean? In order to, confound them, you know, this is my take on this whole thing. Cause, you know, that truth and falsehood being strangely mixed. Yeah, Islam? that can be the case. Islam, that can be the case, you know, in indeed. Like for example, I know that our Moorish kin being familiar can automatically, we can see, like we see our in Amin. You see our in Amin. The land belonging to our moon. We can see our moon right there. You see what I'm saying? But you can't see Alexandria in the words that you seen up there early. You see what I'm saying? 
that I was showing the moors. And so these are things that we will be able to look at by the eye and we can tell, you know, where one has come in with the green mix, so to speak, and tried to change everything up. Here's another measure here. They actually refer to this, the ah in netter, divine field, ah in netter, right? Sacred land. See, this is definitely a word that we can use when it comes to dealing with what we call the sacred grove. We can refer to the sacred grove as the ah in netter. The divine field. We was talking about that recently, wasn't we? Now here's another expression of it, where they add the W here to give more emphasis. Au in netter, divine fields. Or then they have what they say, Rahir, Rahir, Au in netter, the storehouse of divine fields. You see? So Rahir would be the storehouse where we can see this at, right? Here's another measure here. They said, are her net, net chef, well, net shinwi, meba, imen ra. We know that's amen ra right there. Nesut, netaru. We know about the nesut and the netaru. That's how my, that's actually right here. I'm gonna show you what they're saying. Okay, see, they said amen ray instead of amen ra, but it's the same demonstration. Nesut, when it said Nesut here, Netaru, Nesut, Netaru is talking about the king of the gods. Remember I say the word Sutin is the word uh, that they get the word Sotin from. You know, that word Nesut is the word that's used for king. And then the word that's Netaru is the gods. How am I familiar with this? Because I already know these words by studying the comedic language so long. But if you look it up, this is just what we're saying, but we can see I'm in raw right here, even though they said I'm in Ray. See it right here? Ah, A. Anytime you see that slash with that symbol, that back was C, you know, and that's this I'm in Ra. And see, that's an A there, but they chose to transliterate it as I'm in Ray. You see, that's what I was saying when I say I wanted to find things that some of our, our family could see. Okay, I'm going to show you something else here. And they got a whole bunch of these different statements in here as well. Um, not that one. Okay, now we're going to... Okay. That's here's, you, here's what, one right here. Go Islam, ahead, sister. Islam, and why you uh, uh, showing us that uh, before you leave that page, I told you the wrong page. What I, I I was looking at, it's on page fifteen. But before you, uh, when you finish doing that, if you could go up to fifteen for me, then I'll show you what I was talking about. Islam, uh, gratitude. Continue. Uh, go ahead, do what you showed us now. <laughs> okay, Islam. So again, is we know this is a set. You see, and they often translate this as Isis. You know, you see it here spelled here in this way, they have uh, different roots in relation. They even give you the Coptic, the Hecopter, Aramaic, you know, equivalents. You can look these things up on your own time. They even use the word mir. Remember I told you the word mir goes into Meroi. They even go into that aspect of showing certain measures. And I guess that they're trying to show you the, the root from here. It's S and the wuss, like sometimes they say we'll set, you see? So different words and different derivations have certain meaning based on where they come from. Some words were Nubian words. Some words were, you know, words that uh, come from uh, different tribes of people that was in that area as well, the way they spoke. A lot of the comedic languages composed not just of comedic language, but long words from people who came in ruling during different dynasties as well. But this is Aset, A-S-T, right? Aset. You see that is Isis, we can see that. Now notice when you go into this, they're gonna give you some symbols, not symbols, but uh, breakdowns like we just went into. See Isis again as Aset, you see? And they're showing you 
you know, the aspects of dealing with what they will have, ENS and IS, you know, uh, some people might say Naset. See the word uh, Ab here? You hear me talk about Heru, Ami, Abu. Ab is the heart. Now then you see Aset, then you have Weret, which is Isis, the great one, right? Isis, the great one, Aset, Weret. Aset, the great one, Isis, the great one, right? Then it says Eb, Weret. Eb is the great heart. So the great is used by the word Weret, Weret. You see, you'll see it spelled sometime probably W E. R E in T. You see? Aset Waret. Aset Isis the Great One. You see? Waret. Waret. They actually put an A here. You see? So it actually gave us the ability to be able to pronounce it as it is. Again here, Aset Eb Waret. You see? Okay. Well, what about down here? You see, Aset Willy Mahet Willy. Isis the Great, Mahet Willi, you know, and they, they showing you different forms of these things. So when we begin to compile, see they even showing you um, dealing with Meroi or Meroitic languages here as well. Um, they have what they, they actually spelled this out. Now, I remember we were showing you the Alexander degree. Now we can see well, somebody transliterated this word as what they call Aaron or uh, Arbin Taki of Isis, right? Now, if you go here sometime, it's just best to keep the transliteration as it is. You see, instead of trying to change things, you know, because they didn't put the G here like it should have been with the A and the Y and the A. They put a whole nother word up here. Who is transliterating this stuff? It should have been A R B T G A Y A N. You see? Well, actually, Y A, and then the N comes in the next portion of this here. Because it's actually, yes, yeah, A R B T G A Y A, and then you have N a set, not Arbentaki. You know, that ain't that ain't correct according to this transliteration. Just put the transliteration in there, people. You know what I'm talking about? The people that transliterated this demonstration. You know, then you have uh in Awi, Islam. When, when you pardon on, on the interruption, but I, I'm I'm kind of behind, but I'm still seeing the, the correlation. When you was talking about that R begot, when you, when it has that C, that's the E, that's actually the E sound. So it sounds like arbagaya, like an arbitrator. And when it's look over here, it says our administrator. Like a you well, that, that G is actually inter interchangeable with the letter K and C. But when you use okay. the C in the k sound, in the k sound, you see what I'm saying? G okay. k k. You see what I'm saying? Counselor. C as in counsel. You know how you demonstrate the C that way instead of C C. Mm. You know, instead of Cedric counselor you know those different ways and so this g up here would be more interchangeable with the letter k and the letter c as it relates to the sound as you would say it in counseling you know so if you look here this is in uh on we we and we we in a set and we we in a set which means counselor of isis we can see a set there are isis there you see, in actually means to bring, they say, right? And then you have what we call RP in Aset, the shrine of Isis. So RP, we can see, would mean shrine. You see, or RP. You see, I use the Y and try to, you know, okay, RP in Aset, Nebhet, Nehet, Nehet we, well, Neheta, Wita, Netert. And this is actually Temple of Isis, Lady of Nehetawi, Nehetawi, the great goddess. I mean, so you can see, and we ain't even fully into this right here, but we can see exactly what's being said in these things. If you know a little bit of 
some of the language, you can point these things out. But just by going through here, you can identify words. You Islam? See? You can identify words. Go ahead, brother. Islam. A gratitude. Um, yeah, I, I can see exactly what you're saying. And, I, and I'm, I'm thinking that, uh, I mean, well, I, something I might want to take on uh, 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 as a group, we can, to actually go in and take all of these words, you know, like the, the asset, you know what I mean? And all of those particular words and and just make a whole page of just those things. And then we can actually that's, go in. That's what chat. we're going to do. That's yes, sir. what we're going to do. Like I said, that's why I was saying by removing so, a lot of the stuff and creating our own actual uh, dictionary, our demotic, uh, actual official demotic dictionary based on this, but not this alone, but going into other words that are cognates in other language. You see what I'm saying? See, we're going to do all that right now. Uh -huh. Show the Arabic equivalents because that's one of the most important things. You know, um, for example, uh, I mean, you can see this stuff right here. It's plain as day. We know the word Netaru means gods, right? It says, Arim na Netaru. Well, we come over here, we see it right here. There you go, Netaru. That, we know that's where that word is coming from. Now it says, the gods of Kemet. And this is it, Netaru in Kimi. You see? That's Kimi, in Kimi. That's another way of saying it. Well, uh, you have Wasir Hap, and this is where they're getting the Osiris and the ap Apsis from. You see what I'm saying? Uh, at Arim, and then it goes back again to the great goddess, you know, and then we also go into the Turk and all set. And so we see that this is dealing with again of Isis, the great goddess. You know, we see Kemet here, uh, Messin Kemet. You know, then they have Rem, man of Pele, born in Egypt. So, in other words, Rem, uh, Pir A, uh, Ak, Pir A, Ak, which is again man, and they translate it as Pele. But I would have to do more research because I don't really see the cognate relation of Pele to this particular word here. I see Palik. So that's what we would do. When we find these different words here, we're going to go with the transliteration, you know, of the word and maybe do some research in them areas instead of these different ways. Because a lot of these people were putting the wrong stuff up here. I mean, where do you see, you know, the A? that you can definitively say that that A there are. What do you see this E at in relation to this word here? We know this mean man, our Grand National Secretary of the State just brought that out. It's RMT, so we see the man, right? But this P-R-A-Y and uh, L and Q, I mean, how are y'all getting Pele out of that? What is wrong with these people? It's, it's really unnerving, <laughs> you know, to read this stuff, man. Like, definitely, truth and falsehood are strangely mixed. The truth is, yeah, that's a man, but what is this Pele, a Pele coming from, y'all demonstrate? So we see here, uh, messing, uh, mess in, so to speak, Kemet, born. Because the word mess, and I showed to our family before, it means born of. Like, they say mesu, ramesu, born of Ra. So here's the word mess in Kemet. That's Kim is spelled with the K, I meant the T at the end instead of the Y there. But look, born in Egypt. So we can see that this is correct. Mess in Kim, born in Egypt. You see what I'm saying? So um, it's just going to take a little time, family, for us to go in here. You know, uh, here's a nun here. Per Aseta Netert. You see, Netet, uh, the temple of Isis, the great gods. You see? Oh, check this one out more. M and R. Mir aset mim, mir aset mir, amin re nasut netter, wapat netter. Oh, no, it's actually mir aset mir, amin ra nasut netteru panetter, which is beloved of Isis, beloved of amin re. See the word M and R again there. Now notice, again, let's point this out. You know, I'm going to open back up for our family. I want to point this out with what's being stated here. Mir, we see, right? Beloved. 
That's this word beloved right here. This word mirror is used for beloved. Of all set. This is all set right here, right? Mirror, again, we know beloved of all set. And they actually going into another uh, phase of this here. Beloved of Amen Re. You see? And this is just giving you different portions. And uh, this is Amen Re here. I'm in Ra, I'm in Ray. Nesu Netter, we told you this means king of the gods. Nesu kings, Netter gods. That's what they translated, right? Then you have Podnetter, the great god. So when you look up the word Podnetter, it always translates the great god. Nesu Netter always translates as king of the gods. You see? And then again, uh, as we pointed out already, the MR deals with beloved and you know, I mean, to love. I mean, you can go into many different aspects of this Moorish king, even with the word medda, uh, medu, amadda, uh, medda, medda naset, medda, medin aset, librarian. You know, which we can see the word dealing with the book. I even see this here MR caught, MR caught, a uh, mirror caught, mirror caught, overseer. Mir caught in or said overseer of the work of Isis. You know, so all it takes is a little practice. You know, we already know that this is Osa right here before we even go over, right? Wasir. So if we come over here, look at it. So it ain't hard. It's just really becoming familiar with these things. And so what I want to do, I'm going to stop there because I know our Moorish kin already got it so far as far as looking at these things and man it don't get no plainer than that right there so we want to give honor to our grand national secretary of state for uh her due diligence and what she did you know what i mean because that's what we got to do just like you've seen her going right beside these words it's gonna make you become more familiar you know with the language and once we become more familiar with the language these things begin to jump out at us you know, you see the words, you already know what that word is. So if I just said NSW right now, just based on what we said, what does that word represent? NSW and T Moorish King. We N have a more. Go ahead. NSWT. Nesu. Nesu. Right. And so Nesu is what? King. That's right. And then <laughs> when you say Sutin, Sutin is also rooted from Nesut. It's just another way of expressing it. Just like if you go in the Arabic dictionary, you'll find one word, for example, for the word Iblis. And the root of the word is Ablasa. But you're going to have various forms and cognates of the word. So it's the same way with the word Sutin. You see, going back to Nesut. Both of them mean king, but just different ways they're being used. And you can also see how they came up with the sultan from sultan. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. It's long. And uh, I think our brother Marvin, uh, no, brother Torre Simpson Bay, assistant chairman, had his hand up as well after the Grand National Secretary of the State. Islam. Islam. Islam, that's the Grand Sheik. Islam, that's correct. Yes, uh, I tell you, I had, I had no choice but to raise raise my hand uh, after our Grand Secretary of State because I'm like, man, she like we she was thinking on the same wavelength, not just say exact, but on the same on the same wavelength. And I say that because you know I just want to give honors to I uh, give all praises to our Father God Allah and honors to our Holy Prophet Muhammad Ali, for bringing us everything that it takes to save us as a nation. Now we're taking it to save ourselves and we're also extending the thought pattern and paradigm shifts in attacking more uh, schools of thought. Uh, and, uh, and we're doing it as, uh, well, as sultanates, Islam, um, and this uh, upliftment of fallen humanity. Uh, so for myself, I, um, I went to the very first page of the, uh, of the dictionary, demotic dictionary. And, and right here, I, I wanted to, just see if I could key in on the actual, of course, we know this is the A, but I want to key in on bringing forth, just say your uh, Latin alphabet or, you know, just say the alphabet according to the, uh, 
according to the ab jab that you put together uh, for the class on the, on, the, um, on the email. So when I see that, of course, we have this word, ah, and it says meaning uncertain. It says in compounds. So when I see it in compounds, it's like ah with these, with the E, of course, the W, and then we see in this particular symbol here, it looks like an equal sign. Um, upon investigation, I think this is also with an E. So I don't know if it's uh, E going to the A. So I just looked at it as e, uh, Ewa, or Ewa, which means uncertain. So we know that if it's uncertain, this is the very beginning. You know, one would say the uh, neutron soup or when time never was when man was not. When I see this, this uh, or what I have over here, Ewa, uh, Ewa or Ewa means to go. Uh, so uh, I saw that and then I went to the next. Also here, you see here, it has uh, the question mark. It has this line here. Uh, so I wasn't sure about that. So I went directly here to the A and the E, well, the A and the I, because also I've seen it as, when I looked at it in the demotic script, this also means I, and then it's the W. So I looked at it as then, I also once again, meaning uncertain, and like you say, there's different variations that uh, that these that the demonic script is brought about. So of course we can see our Coptic up here, uh, and then I just come here and it says I wrote over here to the to the right hand side A I W, and it still is ah. Oh. It can still be pronounced ah, oh, because we know that the eyes we don't even decide it. So it's just like ah. Oh. So an ah oh, because I was remembering as you were speaking about uh, Dr. Shetter we meant to the ah. Oh. You know, so I wanted to kind of stick with that. And as we go down, uh, once again, another example here, we have the T. So we have ta. It means to take place. So um, I come over here, ta, and we know that when we look at the T, when we look at the T in the Coptic, uh, when we look at the T in the Coptic, it's also pronounced da or do, you know, it's kind of like, uh, or sound like it's the T and the D is interchangeable. So I was like, it could also be da, and it means to take place. Uh, so what I wanted to ask you as well, and you'll see it in the, in the next, next, I think the third slide that I bring about, I wanted to know, would it be okay to also look at, say a Coptic dictionary as well to bring forth, uh, just say more, more understanding to uh, the definitions in Coptic. Islam? Islam. Well, yeah, um, that's basically what we set on the manifest when it comes down to dealing with the words. You know, not only will we be dealing with certain measures with the Coptic, mm -hmm. you know, but like I say, Arabic and, you know, what they like to call Hebrew, you'll be able to draw from a lot of the different, because that's basically what Buzz then was trying to do. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, Gratitude. That's after the dermatologist had translated certain words for them. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, certain words you're going to be able to trace directly back to the root. Mm -hmm. Just like the word, for example, the word katan, katan, which is the word that's used in the Grand Quran when it says seal of the prophets. Mm -hmm. It's katan al nabi'in, the seal of the prophets. Katan, seal, Al, the, and Nabi'in prophet, right? Mm -hmm. But when you go into ancient Kemet, the word, uh, and like I tell people, when they translate seal of the prophet, it really means stamp of authentic authenticity. Seal don't mean the end. It the ain't end. no more coming after. And mm -hmm. so if you go into ancient Kemet and you trace the word back to the Kemetic root, you find that Katim means seal, you know, of uh basically authority seal of authenticity just like i said you see what i'm saying that's right it's just a stamping you know a stamp of approval you know and so 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 when you have this knowledge you have a command over the certain words and languages and can't nobody take you off and mislead you and say oh well you know the quran don't teach no seal of the prophet the way that the arabs have begun to teach it over here in the west it just simply means that Muhammad was a real prophet. He wasn't a fake, he wasn't a phony. 
you know, meaning if you don't believe he a prophet, then he is the seal of Allah. You know, Allah stamped his, he, he approved him. Allah vouched for him. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so as Allah vouched for prophet Noba Ali. You know, if you don't believe he a prophet, Allah vouched for him as being a prophet. And so every prophet had a seal, okay. you know, on their measure, but that seal didn't mean the finality of their mes message. It's long. You see, and when you study these languages, that's why it's important to study because they expose that type of stuff. Islam? Islamism. Islam. That's right. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, and like I said, Morris Ken, uh, like I said, we see the next one. Um, you see that we have the hirpa ah, hirpa ah, which it says immediately. And so I wrote it out, of course, in the HR to PAA. Uh, but when I'm like I said, when I'm in uh, process now is just taking just the first page and just going to the Coptic, uh, also going into uh, the Arab, the Arabic as well when it comes to definitions and comparing the definitions. And then we see that next one I bring forth. Go down here, which will take us into the next slide. Uh, here you have ah oh, or I, you know I. So it says vo vo vocative particle, and it says O. Oh, see under uh, this, uh, under I, below. So I say, so I brought it out, I said, oh, I, or oh, I, or yeah. Let's see, we can't say it on yeah, so it's oh, I. And when we look at the next one, I, it says, now mean fat cattle offering animal, example given, example one. So when I wrote here, I says that the, the I, and you, I put the I in parentheses, it says I didn't see a Y in Coptic script, only in the Greek. And then I wrote again, I went down here again, it says, ah, ayah, ayat, ah, at, t, ah, ayat, t. And it says to, it says, NM, so I'm, NM, so I'm looking at, so I'm gonna have to start like looking at, I'm starting to uh, get the, the instructions on the grammar when I see the AM and the N. Of course, we see the verb and the noun, uh, but the, the NM, uh, if someone knows, they can, you know, direct me after the case. Uh, also here it says Ayati. And when, once again, it's without the I. And once again, when I looked at in the Coptic uh, handout you gave, I didn't see, I didn't see a Y in Coptic, uh, only a Y is in, uh, the, the Y is in the Greek. So it's going to take to the next, so what I did here, I wanted to go with, uh, so I took that word I, I, and here the etymology to say from the Greek, it says, if you see here, can we see it more, Ken? I know, and I need to blow it up a little bit more. Good. Okay, so it says A-E from ancient Greek, I, and it has the S-G and it means age, go. And we noticed that also on the previous definition i it says uh right here yeah it says to with the ae it says to praise or praise see under and then out here it says i a vocative particle it says see under it says below so when i went back here i wanted to come do a comparison of the coptic that that you gave us a while ago and along with the greek so with the greek we see the ae it says with deletion of y, and once again, uh, over here we see that over here in the, in the Coptic we see that the i and the y is interchangeable with what we can say iota or iota. All right, and it says also the verb here it says i, or iu, with the w. It says i lead. And as we go on down, you'll see it as well. You'll see that even in the Greek here, the AI, you'll even also see some Coptic beside a colloquial, informal, offensive, it means to go. And um, AI, uh, also, this is also in the Coptic. Uh, and last but not least, it says, all, like O-W, O, ouch, or arg, means feeling pain, surprise. Uh, so, however, more so when we go over here to the Coptic, we see that the A means father, which alpha, and we also see that the I mean as, as in did or king. So, 
the AI, I can see that the AI and the Coptic and the and the A uh, and the AU, which will be or the AE in the uh, in the in the Demotic or the Greek, or, yeah, in the Greek, that going to the definition, going back here to the definitions of why I didn't see the Y in Coptic script only in, I just see it in the Greek, that this is because of just the pronunciation of, or the use of the actual I and the Y to be interchangeable in the, in the I. All right, so here, so pretty much uh, the, the, uh, the R or the I, I want to just to bring forth the, the difference in why you see that the Y is not in the Coptic script, but the Y is all, but the Y is added in the Greek alphabet. Only the I is in the Coptic and only the, you know, so therefore. It's uh, Islam, uh, grand man, not to stop uh, your bill or cut your wisdom, right? I mm -hmm. want us to do and, and try to make this a habit too, because we want to make sure that our people keep the language in line and, um, when it comes to what they like to put in Greek, when you read it anywhere, uh -huh. we want to use the term revised Coptic. Revised Coptic, okay. You know, and the reason why I say that right there, because, you know, uh, it keeps our people from thinking along the line of Greek history. You got, Man, even you when know, you see it's it long. somewhere, you know, and when we write, we ain't gonna have to worry about that stuff. But that's that's the term we would use to Revival. differentiate, you know what I mean? But it's still Coptic at the end of the day, Islam. Islam, Mo, Islam, gratitude. Gratitude. And uh, pretty much uh, Morris Ken, I just wanted to, like I said, just identify the, uh, like I said, the alphabet, the A alphabet in one of the, in the lesson two handout. And uh, like I said, we're going to Demotic. I can see the A here as in father. I can see the A here, uh, moving on to servant. Um, I can see the A even here in this cursive, you can see the A right in this area here, even though it's put together, but you can see how the A is running into the R, and then you also see um, the last, day. well, I can see the A here. And then going into uh, husband, the A here is a little bit, it's right here in this middle part where I see the A at. Um, and then going into man, which we also, that our that Grand National Secretary of State brought out, uh, Remit, uh, man, I could see the A as the little hook, because sometimes when I notice that we don't see the A as in the double, like the little double C, sometimes it'd be in the one, the one C, and this is also used, I think it's used as an initial, if I'm not mistaken, it's like used as an initial. Uh, and then, uh, let me see here, going on, to the next, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so year, let me blow it up a little bit. So even when we look at the word year and we see, I could see the A right about, it would be at this, to me, it'd be at this top right here. No, yeah, it'd be at the top. Even though it's, I know that it's uh, a little bit of, you can't see it, but me looking at this word year, I'm looking at this could be the A right at the top right here, even though we don't see the two little C's or the one C. Now, I don't know if it's the case, what I'm looking at now, if there's a case that the A could ever be at the bottom. And I think it can be, but I'm, I'm still researching that. Uh, if anyone have any um, clarity on that, please do it at the end of this uh, presentation. And also here we see servant. I think we've also brought that out. I can see the bucket. So right here, I can see the A. But then also too, I can see the A here, right here in the ba. And sometimes this, I think the one line, if I'm not mistaken, could also be the A, but I think that the one line would actually lead you to the A, if I'm not mistaken. And um, going on to the last, last little bit, when it comes to the Gospel of Thomas, um, what I will say about the Gospel of Thomas, I can see the A, it could be, uh, let me see here, because I was, when I started looking at it, I was like, man, but at the same, with the handout, so this could be an A, right? But at the same, so I want to show you the difference in somewhat 
this could be an A, but then when you yeah, look if at you the moving your pardon self, if you moving your cursor, beloved, we can't see it. You if can't see the cursor. Some things out. Yeah, I don't see your cursor. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Okay. So okay. Well, I, I got you. I got you with speech. So if we look at the very first line, Islam, and we go all the way over, and you okay, you go all the way over, say so you see the T and D. And if you go over to a little bit to your left, you'll see that that should be an A. I don't know why my cursor is not showing, but uh, this could be the very first line. Well, you can't see the A. You see that very first line where this could be an A, right all, all, almost to the left, all the way over to the left? Islam? Yeah, you, can you see? So no one can see my cursor, huh? Wow. I got That's, a quick question, bro. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, are you reading from right to left? left to right oh yeah i'm reading from right to left okay because you're saying a t and a g at first yeah. and i i couldn't relate yeah sir when you look at the gospel of the gospel of thomas i'll just absolutely say absolutely because dude, those three lines over to the left i thought that was a why isn't it a three three lines yeah i mean you know what morris camp you could if you could actually see my um my cursor that would be better um Okay, I'm you can't, yeah, you can't see my cursor, so it's no, it's no need. Uh, but like I said, when you look on the very first line, all the way over to the left, you'll see that the, you'll see the letter A. But also, Morris can in closing, if you look at, oh, man, if you if you look at if you find the letter A, what well, looks like a letter A on the first line, which will be, uh, if you're going from, like I said, if you're going from, it'd be right in the right in the. Let me see, maybe I'll do this. Oh, well. So I noticed that the A and the S can be kind of, can be a different stroke of the pen when it comes to the A and the S. Um, and when I noticed that when it comes to the, the A and the S, the, 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 the S has a, has a more straighter line when, when applying it into, uh, when applying it into the scripts. So unfortunately, uh, like I said, you can't see my cursor, so I really can't show you the difference that I saw in the A and the S when it comes to the stroke of the pen and how it's used in the Gospel of Thomas. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. But however, more so I wanted to, in this demonstration, I wanted to point out, you know, uh, um, finding the A and the, and the, the letters here in the masculine and the feminine. And I also wanted to point out just that word, the I. And um, last but not least, but to also bring about the um, this particular when it talks about, I think last but not least, the vocative, when we talk about the vocative particle, um, the vocative particle, Morris can, uh, hold on. And this was also struck my attention as well, because the vocative, the vocative, um, is a word, I looked it up, it said it's a, it's a word or phrase used to address a reader or a listener directly using in the form of a personal name, title, or term of endearment. And so when I went, so when I looked at, uh, last but not least, but when I looked at this particular vo vocative particle, and we see that O, so O could be, with the exclamation could be like, O could be, getting one's attention, oh son or oh daughter, because you're addressing this particular person, like oh, uh, uh, oh, Dr. Torre Nurasu, uh, oh, Dr. Shadow Amenti. So that vocative particle, I wanted to look that up because I'm like, what is that? So that's addressing like, oh, getting one's like, it's excitement. And if we see that it says, um, Vocative particle of the O is the C under the I so below. Well, with that being said, Morris Ken, I want to bring that forth and um, peace and love, gratitude for your time and attention. Islam. Islam. Well, um, you know, I want you to open your screen back up again, Grand Man. <clears throat> if you can. Yeah, I got it right here. Okay, yeah, scroll it. Now, that's another measure, too, dealing with the A. A. Um, you will hear people from Somalia. Okay. They speak 
they be speaking and they they say hey you know hey so <laughs> da, 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 hey yeah yeah they said the whole while through the time that they speak right okay but also um you know it used the term in there when it spoke on um in the definition you gave down there to the bottom when you were dealing with the etymology surprise remember how i said off when someone is in off are they astonished so to speak you know mm -hmm. that also connects to the word you know that we put up there when we deal with uh how it relates to the word uh praise and so forth and so on astonishment comes as a result of praise and seeing the result of what you prayed for manifest for example you see the word uh-huh yeah that's right that's right yeah, you know you can it. use it in that way in our language right exclamation point. Mm -hmm. so um ah is also i went and broke that down so many times in my show the deity ah you know the comedic uh principle ah and show the arm and the one standing up there and how it yeah. goes to Allah, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of that connect with that same measure. If you were to look at the actual hand next to an alphabet, they always put this letter A that you have up here on your screen. You know what I mean? Yes, indeed. And so so um, scroll down again a little further to your page above the last slide you did. This is you know, right you here. You did a good job on the A, you know, connection. Well, right there. That's what I'm talking about. You know, um, just I would like to hear your particular expression on pronouncing these words. It ain't a right or wrong way, but you know, these particular words, not the translation, but the transliteration. You know, uh, how would you pronounce certain words on here? You know, it's just a, a teaser, so to speak. Yes, indeed. Um, well, when I look at, um, let's just say, you take a couple of the masculine nouns. You know, I see this is it. You know, but for father is it, it or at. Uh, hey, at, 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 yeah, at. at yeah. And then here, netter. And then right. here for thing, property is the kit. The kit, right. The kit. And right. here we hear the uh, bach for servant. Okay. And also we see over here, bach for right. work. And uh, to go down here to the feminine nouns, I would hear, um, now the P, I would say, I would play with it with, with fit, because the P and the F could be interchangeable when I look when you look on uh, Coptic with fit or with pit with fit, you know, like uh, and then for here is uh, for wife, it'd be hamit hamit and mother mut or mawit, but we know that the W, like you said earlier, it's all about you know, who just like the, the actual dialogue or how, you know, how they play with the language, you know, uh, what we would call, you know, uh, what we would call uh, just, you know, slang, whatever. So it could be like mawit or mut. And then for the year, uh, I can see arnip, arnitip, or arnipit, arn, arnpit, arnpit, because I see the T here. Arn, arn, pit. Renet. You said renet. Oh, renet. Sure. I got you. Yes, I got yes. you. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, if in here, last word, well, there's servant again, uh, bakit. So even here in the in the, in the female, or the, or the like the woman, we see there's a T added versus here for the man, for the masculine, there's no T. There you go, right. And bakit, here, bak. Yes, sir. Right. And sarit. Surit, a surit for daughter. And right here for woman, once again, uh, we see the sh, shemit for, for, for woman. Right. And see yes, up sir. top, if you go there, you see the word son, you see sir. You see sutter. Some people say oh, sir, sutter, sutter, you know, but um, also mut in the Arabic, the equivalent to that is um. Um, um, mm. you okay. see, um, that's your mother, um, mm. you know, mut. Oh, um, um, yeah, um, yeah, mm. mut. mut. You know, also, um, the word, um, web, a wab, wow. which is priest, 
And then you see husband, hui, hui, hui. You see? Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the T in uh, Timmy and Demi. You know, you can actually push them out. Yes. You know, you see, you see that uh, word for pyramid there? And this is just- I that PR right there too. That, that that's PR right, that's, that's pyramid right there. That's why I was yep. asking it. You yep. said as soon as I, I asked you, you know, so praise be to Allah. You know, Islam, I just wanted to, you know, and that's how we got to be able to demonstrate. You know, we got to be able to eventually where we can see these things and be able to identify. You know, yeah, so good job. I just definitely trying to- I'm just trying to, like you say, we also have to add our, our more science to it. And mm -hmm. like, so we get in where we fit in. So what I'm doing now is trying to find where I can, where I'm at in the study, you know what I mean? To be pushed forth. And last but not least too, I, I was, when I was actually doing the research, uh, I hit the, I hit that little link, whatever. And you know, that place uh, is located, it's a museum, it's located in Chicago. Right. Uh, and they have, um, a ten, it's like a 10,000 year, uh, basically have this event or they have in this museum, they have a lot of artifacts that I was like, man, it'd probably be cool if we can all plan a trip, you know what I'm saying? And go there in Chicago, just, you know, just to check it out, you know, but uh, yeah, that was about it more. And gratitude, gratitude for everybody's time and attention. It's long. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, in due time, we'll be able to do some groundwork uh, journeys indeed, you know, go all the way to Kemet, to be honest with you. Islam. You know, Islamism without the schism. Yes, sir. So uh, praise be to Allah, brother. And that is very powerful in what you brought for. And uh, I think, let me see, is there any other more that have their uh, homework? Oh, Sister Curta Bay. Yeah, Diane Curta has a hand up. All right, Sister Curta Bay. Islam, Islam. Uh, first, let me rise and give praise to the great God of Allah. I give honors to my holy prophet, Noble Jali. I give honors to Act One. I give honors to all my government officials. I give honors to you, uh, National Sister Grand Chief, for this wonderful class. And you know, I'm still learning. And I didn't get as far as everybody is. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm practicing writing down some of the things. But what I did, I just uh, uh, focus on trying to recognize the A. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to share my screen. I'm going to go back to that where um, uh, you was, um, what did I do? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to try to pull up. There you go. Um, I just sent it uh, right here. Can you uh can y'all see my screen, family? Um, it's long. Okay. Uh, when I um uh, when I was looking at, I looked at a lot of these scripts. Uh, uh, can you see my cursor? I looked at um. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, we see we see so it's long. Okay. Um, let me go back. Yeah, I looked at I looked at a lot of these because uh, y'all know I'm not good with this. But I looked at a lot of different strips. You know, the record trying to recognize the A, just just getting a visual in my mind what the A looked like, and then um, uh, this this A here, and then it could look like this in the demonic. And I didn't even try to look over here at the heretic and the hieroglyphs because you say, no, uh, I'm not trying to buy, I'm just, just focusing on the demonic right now. So that's that's where I was. And um, um, and I, as I go, uh, when I went down to um, the, let me make it, make that up, in, in the Gospel of Thomas, I, I was looking at some, uh, trying to, just trying to find an A in there and like the uh, brother uh, uh, God man was saying, brother uh, Torrey Simpson Bay, uh, he was saying, uh, I, was, I was trying to find the A and I, um, if y'all can see my cursor. Yeah, um, I can see it, I'm definitely on it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and and, and, and I, uh, uh, Dr. Shaheed, I want you to help me with this one cause right here, I just noticed that 
could that be an A right there? I thought it was a B because it looked it looked like the four. But then when I took a second look at it, and I had to keep blowing this stuff up <laughs> because sometimes my eyes be doing something. So, but um, when I looked at it, I, I was I said I wanted to ask, could that be a A also? You know, going that way, could that be the A? Be an A. That could be a way somebody had wrote an A and they struck something through it. Yeah, struck or something through it. A with that. another letter. A yeah, that's another what that, letter. yeah, that's what but I if thought. You look down to the fur, go to the left real quick. To the left? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Now, I, that, no, no, yeah. keep going. Keep going. I thought that was one, too. Okay. Right. Said, keep keep going. going. Now go down. Yeah, now that's, that's the one I picked. Yeah, I had that one. I found yeah. that one. You know, and, and so really, it's just the style of the writer. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, we'll become, we'll be able to identify that the more that we look at them different uh, scripts with the letter A. Uh huh. You know, I was saying, look on the side of the alphabet. You know, the, all the A's that we got in the um, one in the dictionary. Right. Right. Just study yeah. the different A's, and then you will be able to better determine, you know, what style was being used. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. And yeah, and I, I had picked that one out. That was the first one that jumped out at me. And then mm -hmm. a couple other uh, uh, alphabets that jumped out at me uh, that I thought I might have seen the Y and uh, like Brother Edwards Bay was saying up here, I, I, I thought that was the Y. And uh, but I, I didn't in in this particular strip, I it was hard for me to see the A as the little old little back with C's, you know, it looked like a three sometime. It was hard for me to find that in, in the Gospel of Thomas. But uh, like I said, I did find that one. And it was, uh, uh, I just noticed that one up there. And it was another one I had on line five, uh, line. You know, there are different A's too. You see the two, <laughs> two different A's. Okay, yeah, yeah, because the, uh, you know, I mean, excuse me. I and you know, mm -hmm. that's why I was, I'm glad you, you brought it forth, Dr. Dan Carter Bay, uh, because like our National, Grand, National Sister Grand Sheik just said, it's different A's. So right. when you see that number three, it looked like a number three. Yeah. I was, that's what I was kind of looking at. Like, well, that could be an A, but also when I'm That's the letter it, M, yeah. It's letter M. So yes, when you look sir. at the letter S, when you look at, the, when you look at the letter S, um, the letter S could also look like the number three. And then I based that off of the handout that we received. Um, matter of fact, on, on the same abject, on the ABG demotic PDF that you sent to us, if you look on that and how you put it into the abject, that three can also look like an S, Islam. Well, you know, it's really based on um, how you study. Look over here, go to um, the letter, see Thomas, look at the word Moss. Look at the word. Which one? Moss, Moss in Thomas, right? Uh-huh. Letter oh, S. Yeah, S. Letter S. Uh -huh. Now come down to the third line. Third line. Okay. Right there? No, no. Straight up under the letter S on Thomas. Oh, okay. Oh, right. right. Do you see that? Now go over there to the Y next to it, to the right, and then to the next letter. Yeah. See them two letters right there? on the outside of the wires, one on the left and the right. You know what I mean? When you go into the aspect of the S, we can see the S there, but we see the M there. Uh-huh. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You see a clear distinction between the S. There's also another S that's expressed over there up under the H. Go up under the H right there. Go down? Up to Thomas. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the gospel, that you know, go to uh -huh. the, the word the. Okay. Now come all the way down to the third line. Oh, okay. That's another S, but that's S H. Right. Yeah, because you see. Yeah. Uh huh. That's the same H. I mean S that goes into the Coptic language, and the S similar to what's in the Arabic Shin. You know, it's the same in all of those languages. So you just have to be study them carefully. You know, because yeah. I can see the letters M. 
you know, just popping out of the whole document throughout the whole document. Yeah, and I did too. But but since we were focusing on the on the A, but I, I thought I saw a, a a lot of other different alphabets that kind of jumped out on me. And um, uh, so so uh, did did we say? Did you say is that a is that is that a A right there? You know? Um, no, I wouldn't jump to say that 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 is an A just yet. Okay. You know, um, I would say that right there um, looks more like a K. Okay. To okay. a certain degree. Okay. You know, just just looking at it right quick. Right. And, um, it's connected to, and I don't know if they chose to connect it that way or they was just drawing off to drag out what they had, but looked like they connected it to the letter M. Okay. Whoever wrote this script here, they was doing a lot of like look like they connected certain letters. Mm -hmm. so to speak you know in their in their style of writing so like i said once we analyze it more uh -huh. you know we can determine exactly what it is as we go through right, you know, right. Out all the you know the possibilities so to speak and get to the to the actual aspect of it like i said it's a, it's, it's time yeah it is putting in and the time we putting in ain't nobody never really did this so we are the ones on the manifest cleaning up a lot of mess like uh also go back where you were. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Uh let me go right there. Okay. Right there. Give me one sec. Okay. I'm trying to see up here. It was a letter where I seen two of them put there go right there. Okay, go to the letter S again on Thomas. It's on Thomas. Okay. Yeah, now come straight down. Straight it's a down. few lines. I'm, I'll tell you where to stop. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down a little bit more. Come on down a little bit more. Right there. Go to the left a little bit. Right there. Mm -hmm. Like you can see that they compound a certain word there. That looked like that little question mark. Yeah. A. That looked like A, the question mark A connected to the letter M. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. You see what yep. I'm saying? Uh huh. So, uh -huh. so that's why I'm saying um, it's this is a different style of one right, and nobody's style is gonna be the same because just like if we start right now, style ain't gonna be the same. Right. But there's certain right. things that will jump out. Like I can see the letter Y all up through the page, all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. I can see the Y. Um, I can see uh the letter B all up through there. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So. And so that it's just that, training the eye to be able to identify. That's why we're going letter by letter. Because as we go through, and by the time we finish the alphabet, all these letters are going to be jumping out. We're going to see whole words. Right. <laughs> I'd be glad when I get to that point. And, as a matter and, of fact, go, let, me, let me show you something now. You see that alphabet I just showed you to go to? You see that? The one I just showed you, the one we just looked at that was added together. Oh, yeah. Uh, where do you go? Oh, Go back over to the right. Go to the right. To the right. Yeah. Oh. Go to the right. Now go above that. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. This time now, it's hard for me to see. <laughs> now, now go to the third line and go up under the letter G. On go, gospel. Go to the third line. Go under the letter G. Right see here. it right there. Yeah. No, right. no, not there. Go back over where you was. Right here. Go back over. Right there. Oh, okay. To the right. See them two letters? Uh huh. That's the same thing, basically, but separated. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, good picking up. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's basically, you know, what what we can see being demonstrated there. You know. Yeah. Just yeah. as we can see, also, what you asked earlier, where I say that look more like a K. Go to uh -huh. the right. Go to the right, right there. Uh -huh. I can also see oh, that right same symbol down here. Go down to, go down to the fourth line from there. Right here. A little bit more. Fourth line. One more. Now go to the left. A little bit more. Right oh, there. Right there. Yeah. See what I'm saying? I can see they did that again. Mm -hmm. You know. So um, it just like I say, we just have to take a little time to go off into the document. 
Yeah. You know, and, now, is uh, that a T right there? I remember seeing that, that was that was the one I was saying up there, and the other one looked like a K, but I see they link one to it, and that could be the a T. That could be MT. Right. M -T. MK. Yeah. One could be is. MK. It's like they're linking them. Then if you go up above that, go up there to that line that I had you on up, go straight up. Straight up. Now go to the right. You can see where they separate. Right. No, no, not over there. Right there where you were. Now look at the one next to it on the left. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, right. it's like they separated them. They didn't run them together. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, it's going to basically uh, take time investigating the style of the script. And they actually had a name, you know, on some of this stuff in here. And all that come in handy. Uh -huh. so, okay. You know, like I say, we, we're a work in progress and you're making good progress right now. Islam, Islam. And uh, many people referencing these works, you know, in order to get some understanding of this stuff. Because like I said, it's never been taught before us teaching it now. Right, right. Islam, Islam. Islam. And I'm going to go over here to this next one. Uh, the one I was, I was trying to show you, I had the wrong page. And uh, uh, just looking through these strips and... and uh, it was right here. And that, that's what jumped out on me because I, I saw the A's, the di different A's. But this was a particular exercise that I was working on when you first started, when we first started getting into the demonic and teaching us about the demonic. And I, I, we couldn't figure out what these were and, and uh, them little things. And I, I didn't know if they was determinatives or, or what. I, did, I, I didn't know. And, uh, but then when I come, come here, and you said that that was the word, so I can see, I can see the, uh, I see the A, and um, and I found out that this you let a one, W. Yeah, that's a W. And then mm -hmm. I knew that that one was a T. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, that's a um, that's the um, W again. And mm -hmm. then that's the that's the um, is that the that's the K. That's the G, but I mean, it's interchangeable. G. It's interchangeable with K too. Right, right. The, yeah, That's I, I why you put K yeah. on certain areas and G on the other. But remember, I was pointing that out on that letter when it had the M with that coming off of it. Uh huh. And I uh -huh. said it looked like the letter K. Right. Now look up to the one, the script above that. Uh huh. Up here. See the see how they style the K over there in between it. Go to the one on the right. No, the one next to where you were right there. You see it? How they separate them? Yeah. We yeah. seen that before when we first started trying to identify it. Now go back down to the K where you were. No, the one. Yeah. You see how it is? Same thing. Uh huh. You know. But it's and only. Yeah, that's the G. It's G interchangeable with K and all that. That's why you'll see it there. Right. So, but I couldn't figure out, and then I knew I knew that that uh that this this was the T T W, mm -hmm. and then R. But I, can you help me? Now, what is that? I never did figure out what that was. Well, um, this right here, they didn't even really use from what I'm looking at. Uh -huh. They really ain't considering that last letter too much, so to speak. Oh, but okay. it can actually run into, I see they have the S up there mm -hmm. on the top line coming off of that. You know, we'll have to do a little bit more research on that particular letter. Uh huh. You know, and we'll probably find it in the scripts as we go along. Okay. But what we can see is that it does spell out every other alphabet spells out the word autocrator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's what I was looking at autocrator. Mean royal title. Right where you're seeing it. Right. And that mean royal title. That's Cause, right. Because in the in the exercise, I remember because I worked diligently on that little thing. I couldn't figure. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out for that. I said, what is that? But, it, but now that you look like a letter, if I would have guessed though, you know, it uh -huh. looked like a letter T almost. You know, right, that's right. just a guess. That's yeah. a good guess. Yeah. You know but I, mean? I never could figure out what that whole thing was, that, that, that whole little script there. I, I couldn't get all of see I, the those, the W's, now that I know that they are W's, I didn't know what the W was, but now that we we are over here and uh, 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 and, and you give us this um, dictionary, the Chicago Demonic Dictionary. That really helped me. And like I say, I just got 
so excited because these we we work me and the goddess we work diligently on trying to figure out the different uh, alphabets and stuff and what they were and to get over here to see them written out and then to go over here and, and compare them that just really helped me a lot uh, and like I say uh, uh, I didn't um, I haven't I'm I'm writing them down but I'm learning how to, uh, I'm, I, I want to write it on a, a piece of color paper because I'm noticing if you, if you put it on white, it's kind of hard for me to see against that background. So I want to uh, start writing my alphabets out on, on a piece of color <laughs> paper to try to make it show up, show up more better. And, uh, and then uh, what I have to do, because I'm still learning this computer, is just take a picture of it and send it to my email and then put it up that way. Because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to, uh, I haven't figured out how to do the other way as of yet, but I'm getting there. But uh, anyway, I just wanted you to know that I did study this, uh, but I didn't, get, uh, I didn't get to write down a whole lot of uh, things. I was just trying to go through the different uh, scripts and, and find that A, find the A. Uh, uh, really this A, the way it's written here, with the like, look like, it looked like a three sometime, but look like they say it looked like uh, two little C's or something. So I was really just focusing on, on those. So gratitude, God, man, for letting me share and let you know I, 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 was, I was doing something. I wasn't just sitting over here not doing anything. I was doing some work, but I just didn't, I didn't, didn't have a, a whole lot uh, writing and stuff too, and uh, and the definitions I forgot to do the definitions too. So Islam, gratitude for let me share peace and love. Islam and gratitude, sister, for that draw and praise be to Allah. Islamism without schism and uh, also yeah, those uh, particular scripts. If you look at them, they really write out the same things, but it's showing you different styles of the writing. So if you study and compare these things, you can also see the difference in the way one write the letters too as well. Okay. So yeah, these things are very helpful. Islam. Islam, gratitude. Gratitude. All right, Islam. Are there any other Moors who would uh -huh. like to come for Islam, brother, by two Let me turn this on because I want, uh, uh, I'm gonna pull this up because I did it on here and uh, it was after I got it, but uh, I, I don't wanna make. So I got the the ones, this line right here. And I thought this was the demotic, but then I got this as the demotic when I looked at the uh, the, the the other ones. Yeah, that's so the Mariotic. This was the Mariotic, right? Yes, sir. And this is the demotic, yeah. Some people call the Mariotic demotic because some of the letters are similar in there. You know what okay. I mean? But yeah, um, yeah Meroitic is its own script. Okay, and then I, wrote, I started to write down the the, alpha, the the letters, right? And so I'm gonna share the screen. I'm gonna share my screen to show, just to get some of the, um, where's it at? Right here. It's not. Um, just to get some of the, because there's some confusion. When I seen this one right here, this bottom one, I don't know if you can see the that it's the zero with the uh, line through it. Is that is that like when you see the A and the O combined on some on some of them old English letters, you might see A and O or A and E, and they connect those two letters together for the pronunciation. What are you talking about when you see the brackets up there? These the right. This this one right here. I don't I didn't um I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Well basically, you know, that's like that's like the last letter Sister Carter Bay was asking us about. You know, we mm -hmm. don't have a clear definition of the symbol yet. I'm pretty sure as we go through there you know, we will come into some clear conception as we do the research, but we know that every letter here is dealing with the letter A. So I came from, from the aspect A. of A-Y-D-A. A-Y-D. -A. A -Y -D. A -Y -D. And uh, then- Adda. Uh, Adda. Ad and see, some of them don't have it on there, so. And then there's this one with the, it looks like the infinite. So, yeah, the infinity symbol, yeah. And like I, was I, I would stop at the letter M. 
Okay. Yeah. And so when I was looking at when I was going over this to uh, scroll up to broke it down from the top though. Reason being because those are not alphabets. We know those are not alphabets. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, go ahead, bro. And this is right there in compound to make to pay. Okay, so when I started off, I did the just did that that. There you go. Yes. Uh, et ya. Is that? Ayati. 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 Yeah. Eight. That's what. Yeah, Ayati. That's what I have written down, right? Uh, that's what I have written down. And then the next one, the A R Y, is the Ayari. Ayara. Ari. A a word. Yeah, a word. A word. My pronunciation is just uh off. And like uh gotta say it before, this one that's Abe, which it starts as you went through the the Abe. that look like Abe. Egypt. Huh? Abe. Abe. Yeah. And that does look like that does look like Egypt when you uh go into it and uh I'm really playing catch up from not having this before, but it's real easy. It's real easy to look at to see. This also looks like a like it could be Egypt, but where that doesn't have the T, it doesn't have the T in it. This one right here with the, the little symbol before that looks like uh Asar, but it says Asuru. Acer. It's that's Acer. Yeah, I'm just looking at the way they have it spelled there, but they place it as Asheru. And you can see that the 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 uh you see that um that arrow that's pointing down above the S. Yes. It's denoting the S H. And when you see that underneath the lettering, what does that mean? Because there's a there's one down here that's down yeah, it's further. It's just a different expression of the S. Because okay. you know it's a few S's. It's one with the S H and one without the S H. It means it's sulfur. That's a hard H right there. And what, with this dot underneath it? That deals with uh, the word H, and also it can be pronounced as K based on okay. whatever you're dealing with. Heh, heh, like a silent K almost, but eh, eh, you see? Eh, okay. almost pushed out. Eh. Yeah, you know, it's almost like you're pushing a silent, and some of them are harder than that, you know, where it actually is what you actually use in the K. You got to go back to the rules of the grammar that's mentioned mm -hmm. in the lessons that we have. The demotic lessons will show you how to properly pronounce. And this is, this is another yeah, word. It says, uh, it, it, uh, it can, it can. Yeah. Yeah. A kit. Yeah. Right there. See, that's a Q. Okay. A kit. A kit. A kit. Yeah. A kit. Oh, okay. It actually comes out also in the way of like G. A kit. Mm -hmm. Like you actually pushing give, give, a kit. Yeah. But that's really a Q. A kit. A kit. You see? A kit. And Akawama. Right, there you go. Akawamas. That's right. Yeah, but I seen this also, <laughs> like this starts with it. an A, but this says yeah, it's with an O. That's what I'm telling you. And that's why I say you can't really go on, what you know, say. what they, they transliteration. You heard me questioning a couple of them. You know, in fact, the one to the left, I mean, all the way to the right gives you right there where you just was. Right here. Yeah, it gives you, you know, a better rendition of, of bringing it on the manifest. You know, we just got to, you know, those types of things we will correct as we go along. Mm -hmm. You know, in fact, you know, it might even be good for us to start trying to even deal with, you know, uh, the extraction uh, of dictionary based on these demonstrations, you know. Uh, the correction, dealing with the specific words and so forth and so on. 
you know, um, that it wouldn't hurt for Islam. us to go in that area. Islam. Islam, man. And, and due to the fact I'm, I'm like, I've been behind in this. Um, so I'm getting, I'm going to print it off and I'm, I'm going to address the, the situation with it because it's, it's, it seems fairly simple in learning this stuff. I just uh, didn't, I just now got the, the, the thing that, like last week. So I'm going to get these printed off and I'm going to study and I'm going to uh, get caught up with the classes. Huh? Yes, sir. I told you it's long. You missed one or two, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's long. It's long. Praise be to Allah. You know, it's not, nothing lost. Uh, nothing lost, brother. You know, that's why we done did all the groundwork and uh, you can go back to the videos, actually. We got the previous videos, we put them out there. And uh, it's good to go back and do the research and look at what we come along the way as well. You know, because um, all of that aids and assists. And I tell you one thing, the way when we was uh, going through the Coptic language, you know, without our going through the helicopter, we wouldn't have been able to take them, let them, them uh, letters and match them when I put the abjad together, and every one of them we put together. This before I found this dictionary, you know, we was on point, more. You know what I mean? And we was tediously going through getting the Coptic, and then going over here matching this letter there. I know the Moors remember we was doing that, and we was really thoroughly looking at it before we determined what a word was. Yeah, that's the T. That's the A. And then come to find out when we get the dictionary, everything that we did on our own, it was right and exact. So we got to be doing something right. You know, it's just in us to be what's in us, I guess, right? <laughs> it's long. Praise be to Allah. So gratitude for that measure, Brother Bati Bay. It's long. All right. Any other more would like to come forth with their measure before we get ready to close this demonstration out? Islam. All right, brother Gary Miles Bay. Islamism, grand man. Gratitude, National Assistant Grand Sheik. All praises be to the Great God Allah. Islam, Islam, Islam. Once again, I rise and I give praise to the Almighty Great God Allah. I give the highest honors to our Holy Prophet Noah Duali. His high name, Sheik El Ha Sharif of Duali. I give high honors to the greatest forerunner ever, Marcus Mose Garvey El. I give high honors to our theocratic Moorish American government. I give high honors to Act One, our divine constitution bylaws our government official staff and citizens. And I also give high honors to the Georgia consulate and our national assistant grand chairman, Dr. Tori Anu Simpson Bay for uh, basically giving us this platform today. And I also give honors to you national assistant grand sheik for grand host, grand class, you know, just grand lessons that you give 24, 20, 25, seven. And um, I also give high honors to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, our Moorish flag, grand emblem, grand seal, my Moorish can hear that everywhere. All my Moorish can that spoke before me and all my Moorish can that'll speak after me. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I am Divine Minister Dr. Gary Myers Bay, Apalachicola, Florida Territory. And um, I'm gonna share my screen, family. <clears throat> and um, I've been moving around. I just got to work. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen. I basically, you know, uh, looking at what my Moorish can did, you know, grand, um, grand measures. Uh, let me see. It's about to start. Um, yeah, and um, basically, I did the same thing my Morris Ken did, but I uh, actually wrote out on the uh, on everything. Where am I? How do I do this? Start sharing. Is my screen showing? Can you hear me, family? Yes, sir. Your screen is showing, brother. It's on. Okay, I need to go to my photos. All right, no problem. And uh, let's go here. All right, there we go. And uh, basically, uh, can you see that? Yes, sir. We can see it well. Islam. Islam. Gratitude. Gratitude. Now, basically, what I did, family, is um, I printed out everything. And um, for the for the A's, I just I couldn't take a picture of all of them, but I did go through all of them, and I wrote on the side of the uh, document. You know, I put all the A's and I wrote them all out. And um, certain ones, you know, I was reading, but at the same time, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was just basically writing them out. You know, I, I gotta go back and uh, go through them, but what I am gonna do is do like the National Assistant Grand Secretary did, which is basically get me some paper and pen and write everything out on my own because that's what I should have been doing. And um, 
for the exercises, uh, the transliteration. Uh, basically, as you can see on my screen, I uh, basically went through uh, the first exercise, which was on page 18. And I just basically went through and tried to familiarize myself with uh, basically the letters and the transliteration. And um, what I did is throughout the exercises, like I said, I was going back and forth. And as you can see, um, like for the first one, you know, I, I basically put the M, the R and the S. And when I went to the one document, this was before I noticed that that means plural. So that means that that's a name there and it can mean uh, basically, well, not a name, but it's a noun and it could be plural. And that's what I was trying to figure out. I was trying to figure out, you know, how to read it with all the words in there, basically from the interpretation of what was going on. As you can see over here to the side of it, cause like I did, I just drew lines. And um, I basically, when I first translated that before I know, before I noticed that it was the plural form, it basically came out to M T W T, uh, so M T W T N, and uh, basically, as you can see, I blow it up. You know, you can't really see, but I had the M, and I was thinking that the R was the T at one point. You know, and like I say, but like I said, as I'm going back looking at it, you know, I'm trying to kind of correct myself. And uh, for as you see, I, I didn't do too many. But uh, one thing, like I said, I was doing, I was going and pointing out, as you can see right there where it says singular, you know, this is um, when you go through the uh, document, you'll see that basically this represents a singular uh, noun, if I'm not mistaken, you know, or, or singular, basically subject. And like I said, that's basically what I was doing. And then one thing that I did notice when I got down here to the bottom, I noticed that NTR and uh, I have that as the NTR, which is god because you know like i said i was going through just uh, basically looking at what was on the document and what was in front of me because it's kind of hard reading this stuff not knowing so i just kind of stuck with everything that was there and when it comes to the a like i said i really just went through and i really just wrote all the a's out i didn't really study the a's like that subhanallah where where my screen go, go family back. can you still see my screen no, it just disappeared. I was finna tell you to go back to where you were. Can you see yeah, it? Yeah, sure. there we go. Yeah, yeah. Pull okay, I'm that sorry about that. Hey, blow that up real quick, Brother Myers, man. Okay. I like what you did. Yes, here. You see how you went up here and you went word for word and put those things together? And you went like man, RMT, town, TMY, Inc. You know, you basically was taking it back to a transliteration. Wob, priest, you know what I mean? You did a good job of that. I'm telling you, I'm looking at it right now. See what my art is, truth is good. We can see my art there, mt.ma. You know what I mean? See it down there. Yeah, I'm looking at that there and I can see that you did a good job on that, Grand man. Gratitude, God, man. Cause like I said, my main thing is I'm, being, being in truth education, like I said, I'm trying to learn how to read it. And the only way you can read it, because I noticed that when I was dealing with it, it was dealing with a lot of prepositional phrases because whoever wrote it, you know, they're not, like you say, the interpretation is on us because once they write it, um, how I'm understanding it is like, we're, uh, we're, we're like, I blow it up and it's number six, where it says, she is a wise woman. And then like you see the, the basically the the line with the U, which are, which is an A, mm -hmm. and then the uh the N and the K. And basically catch. go ahead. No, I was just saying the cat. You say the cat? Neket. N -K. N -K. Yes, so N -K. N -K. And uh basically when it when I see it like that, like I say, the what gets me is after that, the is. A, you know, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to like, understand, like when the sentences are formed. Yeah, yeah. And well, I know, I go ahead, God, man. No, I was finna say a lot of that right there, you'll find in there uh, as we go along. 
Correct. You know, they have those portions actually in the lessons. And if you go through the demotic lessons, they have a lot of that stuff in there. You know, uh, that same text you're coming from. But that's why we moving step by step and stage by stage, you know, in order for us to be able to read these things. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's why we're going word for word, letter for letter, alphabet for alphabet, because this is building your knowledge up so that this stuff will be able to jump out at you. Like I was doing, for example, when I was showing you all saw and all set, you know, in uh, Nesut and Nesut Neteru, like just by going through that right there, that impressed something in the memory. You know, we say Pera all saw, you know, I just by saying that, what did I say? Pharaoh all saw. You see what I'm saying? Correct. Yeah, I'm just 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 speaking on that. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Oh yes, sir. I'm with you, sir. I'm with you, sir. And then, uh, like I said, that's basically what I did on the transliteration. And uh, then when it comes to the Gospel of Thomas, uh, let me turn it around. Like that. basically, what I did is I really couldn't find no A's, like my Morris Ken said. So as I was looking at the other document. I I was basically just going through this document. I'm sorry about that family. I was going through this document um, at the same time as I'm looking at the other documents and just put, but I'm um, right here, that first letter, you know, I, I kind of looked like an A to me, but that's actually, I got A Y up there, but it's supposed to be A W Y if I'm not mistaken. And the reason why is because I kept looking at that, that first symbol. And like I said, it looks like those two things. That's the letter S. Yeah, at the bottom up under that line? Yes, sir, the first letter, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That first letter and right and there. That's the style again of the writing. That's what we're getting into, the style of writing that was being used there, that's in, you know, in question, so to speak. So it's not a real big issue that we're not able to identify it yet because we will identify them as we move along and deal with the, um, you know, the style, identify the style of the writing. You see? Islam. And uh, basically, like I said, what I just did, I was just going through and um, like, for one, I found the, uh, I guess it was the Netter, the NR, the mm -hmm. NTR, you know, mm -hmm. that's basically what I had for that. And uh, like I said, I just went through and as I noticed one letter as for the Y, because I knew the Y was basically uh, three lines, you know, I just basically put a Y above it and um, the H, which there's certain letters, like I said, they just stood out and uh, stood cool. up, uh, basically. Which is and, uh, that's basically what I did, sir. No, I was, I was just identifying the H and the Y. It looked like Hui there. If I were to put that, you know, that's just what I'm seeing right now. It looked like father. Ah, gotcha. But that's a that you know if you go back to um, the breakdown, go ahead, brother, go ahead. It's um, gotcha. No problem, sir. No, nah, you okay, sir? Because like I said, that's basically what I did to this document. Like I said, I just went through and uh, I just basically just filled out what I thought I saw. And like I say, the main thing that um, well, the M. I know you said that the uh, the three was the M, so that's one thing that I gotta go back and correct because I thought that was the M facing that way you know but like you say it's different whoever wrote it you know what i mean depending on how they wrote it and yes, uh, basically we got various forms as well too so we can look at the various stages of the alphabets because sometimes they do have another symbol that represent it and so we we learning all of this as we move ahead you see what i'm saying correct Correct. Yes. You know, trial and error, you know, perhaps the Moors look for these things, they can come back and say, oh, we found this here, we found that there. But for the base uh, part of the measure is that, you know, we can see as the alphabets actually are, you know, with what we have now, with the uh, actual dictionary that we have. So all of it's gonna come to light by the time we done going through these alphabets, it's not. It's all oh, family yeah. basis. That's all I had, Grand Man. You know, mm -hmm. um, like I said, I just been um trying to get on it, but I am gonna get on those A's and write them out. I've already wrote them out on the side on all on all the lists that you have, but I'm gonna write them out 
on my own. And that's basically what I got going on. So gratitude for letting me speak, God, man. And uh, peace and love to all my Moors. Can't hear that everywhere. Islam, Islam, Islam. And gratitude. And we give honors to you, brother. And uh, this is why we say masterminds are able to trace themselves back and thus they know uh, as well, because we have literally traced ourselves back through the Arabic language, back through the Coptic, back to where we are right now into the demotic. And whether we know it or not, all of this is preparing us for the heretic because the heretic ain't far from this. You see what I'm saying? But by us having this basis, it gave us an understanding up to now. And a lot of this stuff, some of the Moors can see certain, certain things. You know, just by looking at the script and the word, you know, we may have not thought that it was this easy to be able to pick these things up. But the more words we learn, we able to basically see it. So like we used the word Nasut earlier, when you hear that, you, are, you automatically know what that is. You know, when you hear the word para, we know what it is, a peer, a pair, which is PR, we know that's house. Hui, like I showed you before, that's father. Uh, Ab, that's the heart, you see? And so as we come, our knowledge grow in this and now we begin to communicate in it, it's just like learning a language. You become immersed in it and we become, uh, some of these things we can actually use, we will learn in phraseology to communicate with each other. And we'll practice doing that every now and then, you know what I mean? Take a few phrases and, you know, communicate with each other. In them. You know, praise be to Allah. Like I said, we are the first to do this. Actually teach, if you go on YouTube, you are not gonna find no lessons on demotic like you have them people thinking they teaching Merunetta over there, teaching about symbols. They got that all over the place. That come a dime a dozen. But what we are doing right now, this is the first time this has ever been done. Like we say, you can't get these lessons nowhere else. The Moorish American government is the first group of individuals among our people, you know, excluding even when it comes to dealing with the European. European ain't even came out here to teach this. I know because I look trying to see who spoke on it. And even the heretic, there's nobody teaching this. And that's why our people are so blind thinking they're talking about Kemet and they don't even know how to go into the path. So you see the mess that done been made over here? <laughs> and they'll fight you tooth and nail. And then what, like I did with the other brother, put this demonic papery in front of him, he got all uneasy, you know, and, and want to start attacking because now I'm exposing the fact that, bro, you don't know the language. You know what they say the language is. You see, it is, well, I'm going to get you back. Yeah, let me throw some symbols at you. And then when I interpret them, oh, that one was easy. No, I know how to interpret that stuff just like y'all doing it. I just know that ain't the right way to teach it. You see what I'm saying? You know, it's certain things that uh, our people, and we're going to learn that when we start dealing with them symbols, because we're going to get in that. We're going to get into the metaphysics. We're going to get into the gematria and all that. But we got to have the foundation, you know, of the alphabet first, so Islam. And I want to give honors to all the Moors, because that's basically really all of our Moorish kin there that have brought forth their homework and y'all Moors did a grand job. I'm telling you, man, these Moors got it. You know, I give honors to y'all, man. It's an honor to stand, you know, next, next to you all, you know, shoulder to shoulder, toe to toe, you know, with the giants. Islam, I'm standing on y'all's shoulders and all. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. So um, at this time, what we want to do, we want to open up uh, for Act One, because this is the closing process, uh, uh, portion of the measure. And uh, we will actually call for our chairman if he is present. If not, because he'd be on a mission, you know, all is well. But we know he most likely, uh, if he there, he's going to give us a grand drawing. You know, so it's just honor to be able to bring this Moorish respect to the manifest and Islam. learn God teaching. Islam, Islam, grand man. Uh, yeah, we still rolling, man. So let me give praise to a lot of Prophet Double Dwa Lays to much on to this magnanimous journey. And uh we're gonna have to uh, move on this phone thing. So give my love to all more. I'm here if you need me, okay? Islam. Islam. And Islam, Chairman, we want to give honors to you for exposing that coin Greek in the book of fire again. Cause we can't 
goodness gracious. That's why I told him, no, we're going to call this revised demotic. You know what I mean? A revised topic, pardon self. You know, these ones, uh, boy, I tell you. And then we looked at a word, and I know Chairman always like to refer to him as mm -hmm. Alexander the Greek. <laughs> and that's, you look in the language, ain't no Alexander nowhere in there. What in the world they got going on? In the comedic language, Alexander ain't nowhere to let the European tell it, though. He done superimposed his little self up in there. Done forced somebody to translate his name in the text. See, that's what happened when they put you on the so-called white supremacy. Well, guess what? They did the same thing with nationality, didn't they? Just like they did back then, putting their little names up and stuff, making it seem like they the ruler. They did the same thing with our nationality. Wrote us in as NBC, Negro, Black, and Color. Goodness gracious. They ain't so stopped. much hate, they want to shoot the nose off. <laughs> yeah, blow the nose off of that, the monuments and carry it on. You know, that was all part of the hermetic hypotheses. They went in there trying to say that everybody from Kemet was Europeans. And goodness gracious, how we let them get away with this? And you got some of our people now that's teaching this stuff. Like they come against us, the one that's coming in opposition. To us, when we talk about Kemet, they believe in the hermetic hypothesis. They believe in eugenics created by them people to basically, and you know, during the time of Napoleon, Napoleon was a mason. So, you know, 333 BC, we know the Ptolemies went in there, but by the time Napoleon got there, Napoleon was over there, basically, he wasn't dealing with uh, warfare, so to speak. He was dealing with an intellectual warfare. You see, not physical warfare, intellectual. So he took scientists over there and they began to deface the monuments over there and also try to uh, reverse the history. You see, and also that was his time of implement. He was the one that brought Western Freemasonry into Kemet. So if you want to know why there's a Masonic order in Kemet, look to Napoleon with his Napoleon complex having self seeing them big monuments over there and becoming, you know, beta in his mindset. <laughs> so nevertheless, Islam, grand man, we give honors to you. So let us call for our grand national secretary of the state, Sister Shepsu Rakat Ma'at and Pututu coming bay again so she can put the icing on the angel food cake. <laughs> Islam. <laughs> Islam, Islam, Islam. Um, first of all, Rise and giving praises to Allah, honor to our prophet, uh, honor to our class, to the Georgia Consulate for providing the forum, to all those moors that open up the meeting according to law, to Act One, and also to our host, uh, Dr. Shadowa Menti El Mohedja Chepsuel, our National Assistant Grand Sheik. Um, I just, you know, am um, so inspired by the class by what our Moorish kin brought forth because it takes all of us, you know, um, to bring forth our uh, measures where we can see the total picture. And I want to give honor to you, Dr. Shahi, for giving us these um, uh, handouts, you know, where we could physically work with it and um, allow the, um, the revelations from Allah, you know, um, to enlighten us, you know, the Herophant within, you know, because I'm still looking at the subject chapter and, and the measures that you brought forth uh, yesterday evening and how we have got to give value to the self. We are the question and the answer. It's just that we have got to uh, have that faith and trust in ourselves that it's in there, you know, and when we open up the windows of truth, and are receptive to uh, the blessings that the Creator, uh, you know, has endowed us with. You know, there is nothing that we cannot do. Um, I look at these languages, and, and one of the definitions I saw coming from Hebrew, and I was going to ask the question: Are should we also get a Hebrew dictionary to go in line with the rest of the dictionaries? And before I even ask the question, you already gave the answer. So, you know, and this was like coming out of chapter one, um, where it cannot be told in words. That's part of the, um, the awe or the revelations 
uh, seeing the glory of a law that Elohim alone was speaking about. You know, just in seeing the manifestation of Yehoshua coming back and speaking about his journey. So we are actually still, you know, um, traveling on the um, this this journey of enlightenment, you know, for this purpose of teaching our people. But first, we have got to be taught, you know. So I just want to give honor to uh, your work in diligence and to my Moorish kin's work in diligence that are, you know, recognizing the fact of the need and that we have to fill it, because if not us, then who we? So gratitude to you and to all my Moorish kin, and much peace and love. A grand, grand class. Praise Allah. In Islamism, Grand National Secretary of the State, and uh, we got something for you, too, right here, Goddess and Queen. Uh, remember how we showed you the Quran.com, where you can go into the Arabic anytime you wanted to with words. They also have what they call the Bible Hub here, and it actually has the Hebrew. It got a lot of different measures in here, but if you want to go into the Hebrew words, uh, and you can actually trace their cognates. Like, for example, uh, you just click Hebrew here. And when it come up, what you're going to have is different words. Like it got numbers in the Strong's concordance. You, you can click on that and it's going to show you, you know, a noun, feminine, ratio, transliteration. It gives you all of that. Then the definition of a particular word. In the beginning, God created. They show you where it was used at in these different areas. Uh, this is how I found the word more. Uh, being in the beginning where it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth but when it speaks of let there be light the word more which is cognate to the uh, comedic word more is present you see like bara there's an Arabic word that's uh, connected to the word bara you know bara actually deals with bringing something into existence that had not existed previously you see but then there's another word you know, that has to do with kalak in the Arabic, you know, and then it has to do with creating from something that's already in existence. So you have to know certain things like that right there, just dealing with different words, but they have different words that are rooted in this word uh, bara, a bareshin, bareshin, you know, bara, bara, you know, and if you break it down, ba and ra, comedically, well, ba represents you know, the spiritual soul, Ra represents the light. So was it not, you know, the divine light, you know, uh, in conjunction with the Elohim, which we represented as spirit soul being present during the time of creation, Elohim taking part in our own creation. We can break these things down from many aspects when we understand the language. But they have many words, Barata, you know, um, and all of these things, like they connect right to the, uh, in, even in the Arabic, you know, so there are many different words here. So yeah, these things will be helpful as well in our studies when we begin to create a dictionary because we're dealing with a pyramid. We want to have Kemet, you know, at the root and the top, but then we have the definition of the two uh, world belief systems, so to speak, coming from the Abrahamic line that actually can be traced back there because it shows and proves that both Quranically and biblically, these teachings come from Kemet. And that's what we call the uniting of the Holy Quran. Uh, 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 like the chairman was telling us earlier, or uh, what we call the transliteration of the Kemetian uh, teaching. And that's what it really boiled down to, along with learning the language. And so when we have a command over these things, when we talk to those who are studying in the Piscean records of the Quran, and they see things a certain way, we can give them that comedian and that Moorish, you know, uh, perspective, so to speak, you see, and take them into a higher level of elevation as opposed to what they thought something was, because they're being taught along the lines of demarcation. And what we are doing is we teaching along the lines of unity. So we show the correlation and the relation and the relationship, you know, what you got to fight back then. What reason do you have to go back and forth? In simple things like the word shalom and salam. You see the cognate there in the word peace. We know that this is proof. Uh, they say, es shalom aleikim, es salam alaikum. 
two different dialects, but both of them saying peace be unto you. You see, these things are important. So uh, we give honor to you, Grand National Secretary of the State, for that that question. Because yeah, we definitely that's that's another resource. You know, we giving our people everything we need to do this work. Because once we put this together, you know, and come through Seven Seals publication. You know, our own demotic dictionary, our own Coptic, you know, people will be able to use our resources. They ain't got to refer to E. A. E. Wallace Budge after that. You know what I mean? They ain't got to refer to what his name, what is he, Alec Gardenia, you know, who was in competition to make it look like they done translated something. Get out of here. <laughs> it's love. I wish a member would of any organization, a, a cultic circle. <laughs> it's long. So uh, gratitude, Moors, and we will go to the third realm of elevation, as we call it, third heaven. Brother Torrey Simpson Bay, honest to you for the platform and all the work that you do, Assistant Chairman, Moorish America. Islamism without the schism. Islamism right. without the schism. I live Moorish America. Islam family, another grand Egyptian Adeptus Research Sultanate class. We give honor to all those who brought forth their measures. Islam, and like we say, there's much work to do. It's a grand measure, you know, for our prophet to say more study yourself, more be yourself. And then in the chapter of the week, chapter 17, Yehoshua says, uh, uh, he says that, you know, what any man has suffered, I would meet, that I may know the griefs, the disappointments, and the sore temptations of my brother, that I may know just how to secure those in need. And from a Moorish perspective, well, Right now, just think years ago, we would probably be out somewhere at a picnic or, or uh, out with, you know, uh, doing what we <laughs> want to do and playing. Ain't no telling. Cause I know I'll probably be at, you know, at the ballpark anywhere. Uh, and then when I look at where, where I'm at and uh, sitting amongst my Moorish kin, you know, now we know how to support our, our brothers and sisters in need by bringing forth a Moorish perspective. So with that being said, all praise be to Allah and honors our holy prophet, honors to our Moorish American government, honors to everything that's Moorish, our grand national flag, and the seal, Islam, Islam, Islam. January 15, 1929, a warning from the prophet to be read at every meeting. I hereby inform all citizens that they must end all radical agitating speeches, all at work, in their homes, or on the streets. We offer peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cars at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any citizen or group of citizens who hold malicious feelings toward the government or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive the reward from Allah for the unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet, if they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card and button, cease wearing their turban and fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet, noble Juali. And if the prophet is not right, the government is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all more Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the government. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways by order of prophet Nabiju Ali. Islam, chapter 25, Holy Covenant of the Asiatic Nation. Ye are the children of one father provided for by his care and the breast of one mother have given you suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brothers that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, Remember the relation that binded you to love and unity and prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brother is in adversity, assist him. If thy sister is in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to the support of his whole race. Let his care be continued to you all in your love to each other. I now declare this meeting to be closed according to Act 2 in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. We say Islam, mighty Moors, go in peace. Islam. Islam.
Great class. 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 Great